All right. Hello, Jay. <laughs> All right, let's be have this started. Oh, sorry about that. Hello, Palacato, that gun. All right, let me uh, find a match. We'll see if it starts. Hello, just better. Hope everyone's doing good. All right. I'm just glad that I'm finally 100% health here and I can just stream at peace. So let's see, let's see. I'm here to make the pull rounds reach max time. Please don't. That last one was that last one was enough. <clears throat> hey Valk. I'm just trying to find a match right now. Uh how's this one looking? This could be interesting. Okay, we'll watch this one. One second. Oh yeah, hey, hello everyone. <clears throat> Hope you're all doing good. Thank you for the follow of Kaito Servi. Hey, I hope I didn't butcher that. Alright, gameplay. Oh, you got Jay. That is now Shu versus Bisma. It should be game one. And it's still now one, actually. So, let's see. It's Shu's turn. He starts with Crusadia Avaria. Link summons into Magius. Sets one. Goes to Purple Nightfall. And. Um, deck. It's no side. Yeah, one deck, no side. What's the room ID? There's no room ID. It's determined it. You have to you you were joined. And maybe you split the room. Yeah, there's no room. <laughs> yeah, Crusader can be pretty scary. The deck is still pretty good. Go the Regulex. I go to follow Delphi. And as the crawler, looks on the mad use this. Oh, I should should put sounds off, shouldn't I? Let me put it off. Character is more off. I get a fall igla. Way, no shot.
Okay, we're gonna actually leave this for a second, cause... There's apparently... Someone who joined... The Terminate... With, I kid you not... Raging Magistus? Which I can't join. <laughs> Man, I can't join it. Alright, never mind. Back to, um... Yeah, remember to update your uh, game, guys. <laughs> but this happens every time there's a new update. So I'm aware of that, at least. To Bismuth for shoe adds the sky special summon is the Jacko gets back Abora goes into into Regulus special summon is Abora as caller goes to Magistus again. Use the skill, and yeah. Yeah, good luck to everyone who joined. Okay, got Droplet, damn. And Bismuth Scoops. Okay then, that was a fast duel. Alright, game two. Again. Some is Zerkluzio. No, I mean, we also think we've seen yeah, before. Nothing new here. Hello, Plum. Hope your day is going good. And let's see. Top finger follow. Goes to Magic again. Use the effect and is this not the same game? Did I click the same guy by mistake? Power. Thanks to that save, gets the search, gets memory, which will give him access to the Mech Knight stuff. So is this why this might have follow for next turn? Special summons the Yasha. Uses Yuki Masun's effect to special summon itself in the graveyard. Gets to mill Daki. And now let me just the Makashi combo starts. <clears throat> so 
Summons the Yoni, Daki special summons itself, uses the skill, nills a bunch. And there goes all the synchros. Now if the Yuki Oni gets destroyed, the level the synchro level 11 will float. Hello Shalnar. Uses the Link 3 effect to negate the Magius. Not bad, it really matters at this point. I mean, it was the attack boost, sure. Links them off to go into <coughs> Yuki Ono. That has the Link 3 in Grave, which means you can now at any time the duel, special summon, making a skip skip. <laughs> Yeah, you see me at a lot, that's true. And... Okay, it goes to the Link 2 again. Daki sums himself again, I mean... We'll just keep doing so. Now it has two Link Threes in Grave. And are there only two at a time? It's a single elimination terminant, and there's only one terminant uh, out from our server happening in the moment. Okay, succession is gone. Sets a back row. Sets another back row. You can clear two monsters here, but one will steal alive. I actually used the three effects earlier, didn't he? Which effective three effects do you use? Do you not use it? Oh yeah, you use no battle damage. So if he attacks this, he will not take any battle damage. This is a wall. Oh, thank you for the fall of Tide Gen 1. Appreciate it. Okay. Attacks with the Daki. Clears the field, but no damage is dealt. So now Shu has four cards to work. Oh, we already have got the protection. He wants to keep this alive, makes sense. So now he has five cards, four on hand, one on field. I roll myself and how I had I had. I have to wait. Gotcha. Some of the magics again. And has to deal with two back row and a link three in graveyard. Mm, this is pretty good for columns though, I'm not gonna lie. And okay, use the Z effect of the Purple Night Ball to remove itself in the field to add a blue sky. And then I mean, you special summon blue sky. Go plus. Assuming you're not negated, although I don't think I usually see Narkashi use a negate card like Chalice or Warner Point usually. Yeah, just to add the Indigo. 
Red Moon. Not gonna lie, Crusadia is looking pretty good here. I can't lie at all, they're looking pretty damn good here. Okay. Link software, never regulus. Goes into Draco. Pushes into Draco, gets back to the Magistus card. Has back the power. Guys got protection. Actually, this looks pretty good for. Her. I'm gonna be honest. Feels like <laughs> Crusade just wins this, right? I mean, holy advantage. We were playing against Watchers. Uh, I don't know what Watchers is. Apologies. Hello, Saka. And now, as soon as he special summons uh, World Legacy of Crusadium monster here, we run a PvP. With, I'm currently casting in turn, and I cannot have the moment. I apologize. Now this guy can negate, and he also has power to protect. Mayhem, and yeah, he uses the power right now. How do I get into tournament? You have to sign in through our Discord. How does it go in? I'll sh I'll just show you the Discord right now. This is our Discord. If you want to uh, join our terminus, it's through here. By invalid, it should work. I need the most recent one. All link on the bio. Yeah, here's the try this try that one. <clears throat> He's running. Burial, really? Interesting. So there's Red Moon, and it was just his game. Best man wins. Yeah, it was spicy, but unfortunately... Uh, well, fortunately for Shu, but unfortunately for Bismet. Uh, I think that was game three. Yeah, Shu wins 2-0. So now we move on. We got the Shu. Unfortunately, you lost this man. Okay, we leave the room and let's see what else is here to watch. Bro, are you serious right now? Um. Yeah, the deck is still pretty scary. Alright, well watch this. This seems like it's still going on. This is still round one, so... Yeah, that's the coin flip for you. It's a mixed thing that people feel about. I imagine there are some people who would prefer if you could choose the coin flip in Duel Links. Yeah. 
And this is currently game two, and I believe Hans is up a game. I think I'll follow Shoe. And there should be no noise in the back. I don't know what's going on there. And I'm gonna go follow uh, Holly Sasaki 360. Sorry if I butchered that. Use the skill, dumps everything. Now Hans is on Earth Machines or Infinity Tracks or Machine or whatever you want to call them. Uses the skill to return a dozer. Following means he has one. Yep. Special summons it. And I can switch some any new track from deck. Ah, uh, but drop what it says no. But he's got the image deployment. Yeah, Earth Machine Pile. Add Citadel and Fortress. Special summons the Bullet Train. And just go straight to Battle Phase, really. And how is it just content just sitting on the wall of three monsters then? Gotcha. Use his return to add the Winter. Links off for the Yuka Ice Machine. It's just Earth Machine. Yeah, we'll just call it Earth Machine. I just see people always like, sometimes people are like, oh, do we call it Fiddy Track? And we call it I don't know. Uh, returns, okay. All but that gets the pop. And Sidon will trigger. Yeah, Haas is still looking very good here, not gonna lie. Oh, but he gets to use the effect to pop card. But thanks to Bullet Train's effect, he gets to add back the card, chooses to add back the Citadel. Uses Harvester's effect. But now his Refresh's field is clogged up. He can't summon any monsters. So Haas is just free to like pop off as much as he wants. River Stormer's effect. He gets to add any Earth Machine, chooses to add the Heavy Freight Train. Uses Treasure's effect to bring back the Harvester, Special Summons, and then just Earth Slicer, and I can pop two of these cards. If he wishes to. Links off with Link 1, goes to Goliath. <coughs> special Summons Dirt Train. Uses the Stormer's effect to use Special Summon back. And now it's going to link to, yep, to Anger Knuckle. Uses Heavy Forward to add a Dozer. Attach, and then you just pop everything. Goes in Blue Dozer. Special Sub is the Dozer, and this is an Earth Machine for you, like, hot damn. The deck that just never stops. They just pop off over and over again, but that does trigger the level 7, which means he does have a monster on field. But I don't know, he does lose the level 9, which means he doesn't have access to that pop anymore. I think the Earth Machine just wins this, right? Unless there's a way to get like, lethal. But he's definitely going to send the link, like he's not going to leave it exposed for damage, yeah. Brings back Citadel. And now it's just got a full field again. Level up. The level 11 does trigger, which means he does have Towers Protection in the moment. So, still 
I mean, I don't know, I still favor Han Su quite a bit. How long does the protection last for again? Only for this turn. So now it, it is a little weak to effects again. Yep, this turn. So now it's Han's turn again, and I don't know, the Deuce just have plenty of things he can do, right? He still has the Link 2 engraved, he's got three cards in hand, he's got Dozen on the field. I think Han's is just chilling. Sends the Air Raider to bring back the Fortress. Unless he's out of gas, but I don't know. I can't imagine Han is out of gas here. <clears throat> Some is the bullet train. And now what? He's got a 3,000 beater and just passes. Really? All right, then. Interesting. So then refresh uses when return to add the mayhem. And just passes turn back to Hans. And Hans does not want to crash and protect and have the synchros float, I suppose. I mean if he pops the eleven a level eleven now, it will float into level nine, so that is concerned. Goes with the Goliath. Will he use the slicer's effect? Will he use the activate switch yard? Okay. He now has access to his field spell. Use the switch yard's effect to send a card from hand and add any level 10 he wishes to. Is he gonna go for the rank 11 here? That would be lethal. Does Refresh have it that he does? So he can just I mean, if Hans goes into the Libby, yeah, if he goes into Libby, he would be lethal, but Refresh has the Link 3 engraved, so he can banish to protect. Sorry, to prevent to summon the level 9 to pop the Libby. But no, instead, he goes to the Anger Knuckle. Special summons the Derrick Kane. He now has two rank 10s, sorry, level 10s. He does go into Gustav Max. With the animation, <laughs> you don't see, I haven't seen this in a while. I haven't seen this animation in a long while, not gonna lie. And this is when Refresh uses the effect and also uses Mayhem. Now you can pop a card and activate one of those effects. Chooses to send a card and pop the Gustav. And now what does Hans do? Because he only has... Oh right, he does have the Citadel. And he also uses the Earth Slicer's effect. To bring back it. But it has no material. So it's just a wall at this point. Ends turn. I don't know. Now it seems like Refresh is going to win this. I think Refresh's graveyard is actually looking pretty empty here though. Yeah, I already used up all his Link 3s, so he has no more access to... He has no more access to that play, so now what he's got in the field is all he's got to work with.
Just go straight to battle phase. Use the sigil's effect. And everything goes here, but then he gets to float into level 5, and just he can build 5 if he chooses to do so. I don't know if you bob or two. Sorry, it's 3, not 5. Also triggers the trap, and that's his game. <laughs> I don't know how much Hans can have done there. Unfortunately. The new Monokashi trap is actually insane. That's 1-1, one, one, so now this brings the game 3. Some parts of me think this is actually kind of funny because both of them have their cards trigger off destruction. For Haas is Citadel and for Refresh is their Synchros. Hodge's effect to summon the Yuki from deck. I give a ball of Pixie Coco. And now one's willing to, so he can use the skill and just dumps everything. Now brings back the Yuki Ono, dumps the Daki. Yuki-Ono's effect, it has Dr. Grave, it's switched on the back, and now we just go through the same line again. Goes back to the Link 2, special summons the Daki again. And then links it off again for the Link 3. And then thanks to that, I guess to bring back the Daki. You can hear me say Daki a lot, not gonna lie. I hope I'm not saying the name wrong, actually. And Daki. And then he goes to the Link 2 again, starts with the Daki again. And then just activates Winter to probably search the trap. Oh, this is Winter, which is not the cert, not return, my bad. So thanks to Winter, all the opponent's monsters will lose attack. Equivalent to Ishmael Kashi and Grave, and not gonna lie, they do have a lot. <coughs> so that is a lot of attack loss. And then... Haas is just thinking, I suppose. There's the one back row, the link three engraved, but that should be it in terms of what to deal with. Well, it's still pretty impressive though. I mean, being able to summon any point, the non targeted monster pop is very good. So, activates heavy forward, searches for the harvester. Normal sun is the harvester. Take her to follow. Soryama 1. Evan uses harvester effect to add, I assume, the starter. What's it called again? There you have it. It seems they add the trencher. Yep, for now they summon a blue dozer. Those are the effects, special summon any if you attract me walk from deck. It seems no drop load this time, that would be the waiting. in. 
has the toddler now, goes into River Stormer. Will this force a response or will refresh wait more? No, he's waiting more. And with that, he adds their cane. The fact this can add any Earth machine is not gonna lie, it's very good. Activates Bullet Train's effect. Sometimes it feels like if you don't get mayhem, you can't win, mostly against untargetable, indestructible monsters. Um. Well, Mayhem in general is just an insane card, not gonna lie. My face over wins this. Well, who would you rather fight? My Akashi or Earth Machine? As a third duel, Fortress. Probably my Akashi, fair enough. My best deck, sure, surely. Actually, it's a very good deck. I do agree with that. Some is the Machine Fortress. X Y Z. Some is into Gustav Max. Animation. Big Gun. Think of the Follow Grabril Andre Four D Three. Appreciate it. Uses Yukio's effect to summon the Yoko. Thank you to follow to Oh, resub. Thank you for the sub, Taurus. I feel like in the Maya more easily than Earth who you summon in. Fair enough. Hello, Sarah. Hope your day's been good. Hope your days has been been good. And well, now the Link 3 has been forced out, so now the Sigil summon, thanks to the pop of the Gustav Max. <clears throat> the attack loss is actually kind of rough here though, not gonna lie. Ah, but Tano's effect, now he gets to draw two. Imagine a DD Crow here, that should be pretty ouch, not gonna lie. Best card actually put in some work here. Yeah, doesn't Winter also be able to bash himself in the graveyard to reborn my Akashi? Yeah. But it's in the graveyard. It's a pretty good card, yeah. Not to mention, you can send a Akashi on your field to draw one, and considering how Doki just likes to summon it itself over and over again, that's pretty good. Goes to Anger Knuckle. Not sure what Hans do here. This is actually a lot to push through, and he already lost his rank 10. Hey, if it's not for you, man, it's not for you. It's understandable. Anger Knuckles effect. Wait, is he going for... Does he have another rank tank he built into? Libe, what, to be fair to Jay, he has went to the finals and fought to his tournaments quite a bit. He just always loses every time he gets there, unfortunately. Goes to rank 10 again. Tries his luck again. Hopes that Refresh doesn't have a way to stop this one as well. I mean, this is game. If he goes to the ring... Actually, is it? I think he might survive. No, because the like 11 can attack multiple times, right? So if he doesn't have a way to stop this, this is game. Plus the 1000 burn damage, can't forget that. I don't think he has any way to stop this, does he? Goes into Libre. 
Alright. Use the effect to boost to 5,200. This is game if we're fresh, can't stop it. Imagine using two level 10s to summon your XYZ, it gets destroyed, and you can then summon another two level 10s. The next ability to play through is pretty nuts, it's not gonna lie. Yeah, I can understand that feeling. Okay. And now the question is, does, can Refresh stop this or no? He has the droplet. Oh no. Unfortunate. Loses the Libre. And face the turn at me. This is just over. <laughs> I don't know how you win in this position. Drop is just generally insane card at the moment. I think I've seen a lot of decks run it. I mean, it definitely helps us not limit three, that's for sure. Alright, tries out the Yuki's effect. In response, he will use double headed anger knuckles effect to send itself to special summon the bullet train. So if he survives this turn, the bullet train will trigger in the graveyard, assuming it's sent to add back something. Yeah, Drop was a, is a very insane card. I see most decks run it, I'm not gonna lie. Not every deck, but most. Aren't you guys glad? Now there's another super strong backer you can only get multiple of if you're willing to spend money. Thank you, Konami. <laughs> this is... Um... Alright. Use the use this spell to... Okay. We saw 4 2 3. Use the effect to target the... Or get lucky. Yep, just get lucky. It's not hard. Just get lucky. Yeah, fair enough, Jay. <clears throat> the effect will trigger... Oh, it's currently negated, ain't it? No ascent. Send like Cosmic. I mean, Cosmic Cycle is dead here in a way, not gonna lie. I mean, he'll be able to, like, send a heavy forward, but, man. Kind of feels like the match is over here, in a way. Uses the effect to special summon to level 11. I don't know, maybe he thought what he's doing now is just the better play. You can pop. Is it just game? No, because it's Citadel, right? I forgot about the Citadel. Uses the Ice Glow Montashi effect to bring back the Yoko. Hox. Citadel will trigger response. Wait, isn't that just game now? So, level 7 will bring itself back. No, we can't because level 11 already attacked, right? Okay, so Bullet Train will trigger.
Yeah, I like 250 L points left, not gonna lie, I don't know. Plus, Haas already lost access to his win base, so we can't use that anymore. And not to mention, Refresh has another Link 3 Grave, I believe. His last one, yeah, so he can bring back the Yoko and pop non target once again. So, like, in general, I don't f I don't see how Haas wins this. He already lost his rank 10, so not to mention has to deal with the rank 3 again, so like... I don't know, what does he do here? Goliath, but then what? River Stormer's effect, special summon itself back. Damn, nice bash. Hot damn. That's some insane luck. But no crack down the repeat. Unfortunate. Just for basically nothing. Ouch. Alright, brings back the dozer and just passes on three monsters. Oh no. Makashi just too good. Haas just can't outgrind them, they're just too good. I guess it really doesn't help when your main way of removal is destruction, and you're facing the deck that just constantly floats off destruction. <laughs> not the best. Not great, I guess. To do a will trigger, though. Could Haas actually win here through just like just having this whole wall though? Thank you for the follow, uh, Tony eight. That's uh, right, Tony nine five nine six. Appreciated. Effect triggers to bring back the. Is this just game? You can link three, bring back the Yoko, and then you get attacked directly with the. I mean, this game attack, regardless, he just attacks you with the Yoko or the Tasuku move, so it's his game is away, yeah. Yeah, not what Hans could do, unfortunately. So that is... Was that not game three? That was game three, yeah. So that was... Refresh winning with his Malakashi against Han's Earth Machine. Yep, good luck. And I understand, I'm not going for the selection box either. Well, a droplet is an insane card. I really don't want to risk it. I, I don't like risking with selection boxes unless I have. Lots of cap gems to burn. Alright, that is over, and now we shall move on to round 10. Let me just find a match. Let's see, what do we watch here? Yo, okay, we're watching this one. One second.
Okay, currently there's still zero zero. And this is round two, by the way, so let me just um fix that quickly. This is round two. And It's Sushi's verse the Yeah, good luck, Jay. It's Sushi vs. Shadals. So, so, so reveals the Uni to special summon the Shari Red. Uni's effect makes it level 5. Gets to add another Shari Red. Links off into the, I assume, the rank 5 Sushi XYZ. Yep, and now thanks to his effect, he gets to draw one. Shari's effect activates, he gets to reveal another Shari. Special summon the Gunkis Sushi Bakari. And thanks to that, he gets to go into, I assume, the rank 4. Or, I mean, that's how the card works, so yeah, rank 4 Sushi. Gets to draw another card. Sets two and yeah, just passes turn to his opponent. Shadal's fusion, that's a very good start. Sends odd AD changer and Shadal Dragon. Now cuts start will use his effect to mill any card he wishes to, while Dragon will trigger to pop any back row. It's the MST. Yeah, Shadal Fusion. Uses Hand of Wendy and Hedgehog. Special summons Winda. Winda when Wendy will trigger, will Hedgehog adds a card. Sets uh, Squamata from deck. Adi changes effect triggers. He'll return the rank 5. Oh, but he has the XYZ block. Gramada is negated and destroyed. And thanks to the rank 5's effect, now shit, now Wendy is permanently, sorry not Wendy, but sh Windows negates permanently negated, so now he can special summon as much as he pleases. And now he goes into Rank 5, I guess. Well, no, rank 80. For a Sodi Berserk. What? So you can attach it to rank 5, and now you have 4100 attack to attack. And this is just game. Oh, that's Kyroid. This is game. And yep. Attack to pick for 41. And that's it. Sushi best deck. Yep. And I believe that is game one. Yes. So now, game one, the game was over, sorry. Game two between Kasaba and MTB8. Let's go. Now, does. Sushi go first again, or will Shadal go first this time? Okay, Sushi goes first again. And uh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> really, is that pretty? It's not actually bad in XYZ, honestly. It's not even, like amazing, but in terms of free cars, it's not bad. Has the Shari Red. Activate Shari's red effect to reveal the Shari. Now thanks to that, he gets a special summon. The Uni from deck, goes to ring 5, gets to draw a card. All classic sushi stuff. Thanks to that, he gets to draw a card. And now he has the Uni from hand, reveals the Shari.
And now I assume he's gonna make the Uni a level 4, and then next to that he gets to add another Shari from deck to hand. Does he go for ring 5? Is he going for, uh, what's the name? Venami. So he will have access to uh, Shari for next turn. I rank 5, and he will have Venami to gain a monster effect. Goes in defense mode, sets 2, and passes. Pretty strong, not gonna lie. Oh no, does Kas does Kaska Ba have no fusion spell? He is super poly! He can send the Venami away. Or the Super Jainan. Whatever he thinks is more concerning. Yeah, it's true. For one for one, that is very true. Sends the Venami, thinks that he gets to use Pistar's effect to actually do quite a bit. Dragon also triggers, which forces out the back row. Now what though? Can you still keep going or sends the Wendy? Which means he can special summon from deck and he should all of his choice, as long as it's face down. Chooses to go for Beast, the new selection boss card. He has the invocation, okay, he, he, he can keep going. How is he out the ring 5 though? He can't use Construct because of Speed Negated. Evan sends the real Nona from hand and the Shadal Beast from field. Now he gets to summon the Matches of Fusion Knight. Oh, hey, Jury. How you doing, friend? And now thanks to that, he gets to take the rank 5 for himself. Ah, but he has the Book of Moon. Which means the rank 5 is safe and... This is over. If he gets another, if he can make another rank four, MTP wins. I'll break between classes. Gotcha, gotcha, my man. Gotcha. And it's over. Does he just make the rank five here? Attack directly twice and win. Shadal uh, uses their new Archive skill because it gives them their Shadal fusion, their trap. It's um. Let me uh, just like go all the way up. It's called um, Sh Shadow Weaving Power. That's what the skill name is called. Gets a draw card, and now he just attacks directly twice per game. The face downs don't matter, and Shadal just got slaughtered. <laughs> Not much more I can say. They just got one silently beat down by Sushi. Shadolas just ain't it, man. Even the new support, they're not that much better. And yep, Sushi win. Sushi is indeed best deck. All right, now next match.
Let's see if there's anything else interesting. Nice to see a selection box lock deck do awful. Yeah, it's even with the new support, it's just not it, man. It's really just not it. All right, we'll watch this one next. Two book is nice, but I don't know if I would call that like the be all end all. All right, now we are seeing Machina vs. Red Eyes. Ah, uh, this should still be round two. Yeah, still round two. Yeah, Shadol's is just not it. The deck's okay. It's not like it's not like this deck's horrible or anything, but like it, with with the, how expensive the deck is, it's, it's just not worth it. <laughs> Unless you like really love the deck, it's just not worth it. All right, everybody's going first. They got the chain, they got one set. They got the target protection with the black metal attached, which is a searcher. Pretty good. And that's it? Really? Mishisudo will trigger, but it will just be destroyed. <laughs> Mishina not looking good already. And just like that, Red Eyes really is best deck, I guess. Alright, that was game one. And, no, that was game two, sorry. So now they're printing on game three. Yep, game three. Yeah, Machina not open is super strong there, unfortunately. Also, so far, the term is going pretty well. No match has been dragging off for too long. Machina going first, using the skill to return the tunneler. Draws around the card, could be anything. Harvester of Fat, that's pretty good. And then links it off for Goliath. Goes to effect in hand. Take it so long, that's unfortunate, Jay. If it's been past five minutes, you can ask a mod to come check in. And depending on the situation, it could result in your opponent being DQ and moving on. Okay. Links off for Goliath again. Uses Crab Green to special summon itself. We'll banish the Goliath to add the Outrigger extension. Links off again for his third Goliath. Coming number two Goliath. And then he uses River Stormer's effect from Graveyard to special summon again. 
uses Outrigger's effect to rank it up to Mountain Smasher. And then he'll the defense, use the effect boost, and he'll have the classic Mountain Smasher pass with some back throw. Although he probably has to do as well. Oh, there's the redeployment. Discard the trencher. Adds fortress. And adds the air raider. Battle Smasher's pat effect. Gets to detach the tunneler. GG key. Yeah, I'm sorry, I do. I always I don't only really understand English. Sorry, dude. Sorry, <laughs> wasn't it? Um Air Raiders effect. And just passes on that. No back row, but I mean he's got a full board of three monsters and he can at any point use his Area's effect to bring out the big guy Citadel from Grave, so I mean he's just chilling. And let's see what Zero X does. It's kind of a spooky board to deal with, not gonna lie. It's a lot of bodies in general to deal with. And... Okay, Zero X is thinking, he's thinking, what to do, what to do. This is game three, so whoever wins this moves on to the next round. <laughs> Do you have a play Zero X, or are you just <laughs> unsure? I mean, it's spooky, so I don't blame you. Red Eyes Insight, okay. Sends the vanilla. A ferocious dragon with a deadly attack. And chooses to add, uh, I assume, Red Eyes Fusion, but maybe something else. Chains Droplet, okay. Wait, but can you just chain since it's. Non monster, yeah, so like that just forces out the citadel now. I don't know if that really helps here, does it? I mean, he's still gonna get the oh, but he's non targetable, so now you can change targets. But what what the citadel just should go resolve last, yeah, so the citadel is still safe. Now it comes on the field and is not negated, so you can still use the Dark Hole effect. Normal summons the... really? Normal summons the Gear Free the Red Eyes Iron Knight, which means... You can't use Red Eyes Fusion anymore, assuming you get access to it. He did add the chain. So that means we know he has one chain and two unknown cars in hand. Citadel's effect does trigger, which means I mean he only has one card we know and two unknown. Not sure what Zero X does here. The scoops <laughs> cannot break the board. Understandable. Unfortunately for Zero X, but unfortunately for Rice, Rice moves on with Earth Machines in a game three, 201. Two wins and one loss. It's nice. Alright. We'll leave the room now. 
And... Let's see what else there is. Hmm, I don't know if I want to watch that. Is there anything else? This one just started. My decks are here. Hmm, anything super spicy left, or is it just meta at the moment? Well. How about we watch some more sushi, huh? Sushi is always good, right? Who likes sushi? And I believe he just started. And I believe this is actually round three at the moment. So yeah. <clears throat> round three. Yeah. And now we got White Yakasha versus MTB8. Why Yakashi goes first, that's the classic normal son of the Hajin, and well, you know the drill. Goes to Yuki Ono, brings back the Daki, uses the skill, goes, you know what, I'm just gonna dump five cards here, I hope you don't mind. And then proceeds to link it off with the link three. And we got the Link 3 Yuki Ono, the Icicle Monokashi, who's immediately going to be sent to the graveyard. For the Link 2... Well, Yuki Ono again, but the Link 2 version. Come on, 4 of Yuki Ono, the Ice Monokashi, who will be immediately linked off again. <laughs> And now the question is, can Sushi win against Monokashi? Not gonna lie. Monokashi is a very good deck, so we'll see. Goes into... Daki again. And just ends turn. No back row, so that's good for the Sushi player, but I mean, he still has to deal with the non-targeting destruction. So it's still pretty scary. Starts with the Gunkin, reveals the Shari. Special summons the Uniku deck. Goes on back into the Sushi rank 5. And then proceeds to go, I'm going to draw one card. And hopefully it's a good one, because he's going to need it, not going to lie. Uni's effect special summons the Shari and the Uni. Uni's effect makes level 5, as is Shari. Use the effect now, but you can negate it with the rank 5. And now, thanks to that, he no longer has to worry about any disruptions for the major of this turn. Can you imagine Shurinui versus Monokashi meta? That being said, yeah, I, I understand. Let's go, go to Nami, so he would just be in the game regardless. Yeah, Sushi played through it very well. Special sum is the Akari. Thanks to Yuki with Akari's effect, you can choose to reveal the top three and add a potential Shari from deck to hand. I wish it could be any Sushi. The fact that it has to be exactly Shari sucks. Because the Vinami. Uses the Kari's effect as he reveal uh, Shari. He does the vanilla. He can just he decides to special summon it, which means he can now rank four into any sushi he so desires, or any rank four he so desires. Doesn't have to be sushi.
Actually, is it just game? He just goes into the... What's it called? The, um... The event card, right? Yeah, he wins. Sushi wins. Yeah, it goes to number 80. Come on, four for Sodium Berserk. And thanks to the effect, he can attach itself to the... He can, he can choose to first banish the... Yeah, this is actually pretty disgusting. <laughs> Ironically, this is actually kind of disgusting. And now that he proceeds to equip itself to the ring 5. And it's like, hello to my big ship. With 401 attack, and can attack directly for game. And just like that, Wayakashi <laughs> gets OTK. That was game one, whoever, so Wayakashi still has a chance to turn things around. MTP 8, and it's up the game though, so now we go to game 2. And... Yep, Sushi doing good. That's happy to see. I like, I like Sushi, so I'm actually happy to see him do good. But I also like Wayakashi. I like both the decks. The game glitched a bit, yeah, unfortunately. This is fine now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we don't count those. Not counted, not counted, not counted, not counted. We go to the real game too. The real one, this time. We don't accept Konami's microwave. We reject it. We deny Konami's microwave. And now, Stir Makashi vs. Sushi. Let's see who goes first. It is the Makashi player. Now we get to watch the Makashi all over again. Which is a fight, summon the Daki from deck. Links it off for the Yu-Gi-Oh! No, Link to the Icy Makashi. And now thanks to uh, Makashi being summoned, he gets summoned by the Daki. Use the skill, go screw my extra deck, mill 5. And then after that, he can then proceed to link off into the Link 3. I want four if you be owner of the Icicle Makashi, as you know, it's just gonna be slinked off again. Now we go back to the link two, then link three, then link two, and then maybe set some back row and we call it a day. <coughs> so we back to Daki, goes to link three again. Daki is summoned again, Link 2. Now the question is, does Wayakasha have back row this time, or is he just or is he just rely on the, the road 33 again? That is the question. He has a return, so he can add the mayhem. That's very strong. So that's it. Oh, he's got two back row. I'm not gonna lie, that's gonna be kind of that's gonna be pretty rough actually for Sushi to go through. And they play through, and I guess we'll find out. Starts with the Shari, that's pretty good. Reveals the Shari, the vanilla version. But thanks to that, he can special summon the Shari from hand, and special summon, I assume, an Uni from deck. <clears throat> yep, special summon is the Uni from deck. Goes into his rank 5, come on 4. Mm. 
Gunkin Suship Uni Class Super Dreadnought in attack mode, and now thanks to the rank 5, anytime his opponent tries to attempt anything, as long as it's main phase on his turn, he can negate it. Summons the vanilla. I guess, oh, now he's going for the link 3. Change the mayhem. He can choose to negate the mayhem. But that does mean that he still ha has to deal with a non target pop, which is rough. He chooses to negate, makes sense because the negate from Go is actually permanent. Oh, he has the chalice. Oh, no. Very good for Yakasha, means he can not only destroy a card, but he can also choose to send, which means that. Oh, but he has the Book of Moon, which means he can let the negation go through, but losing the Book of Moon is kind of rough, not gonna lie. At least with this play, he does only have to worry about one monster going away. Okay, the vanilla is destroyed, and now three cards in hand. Does MTP have a way to continue his line? No, he does not. And if now White Takashi has a couple of choices in mind, he can leave off again. He's the link 3 in grave to special summon the rank 7 to pop card if he so desires. And he so desires that, which means that now he has a non targeted pop, but he has XYZ block. Which can actually be used when your XYZ monster is phased down, funny enough. So this does work. It gets popped. And thanks to that, his back row is safe. Oh, well, this fort. Oh, he's got the Ice Dragon Prison. Which means he can now special summon the level 5. And if he so desires. He can banish, yep, banish the Yoko and the Chisugomo, which means now... Oh damn, this is not looking good for my Akashi. They already used the, they already used the uh, Link 3, so they can't use that again. They lost access to Yoko. And I think Sushi just win this, don't they? What does my Akashi do from this angle? They get Link 3 again. But the Link 3 is on field, not graveyard, which means he can't use the effect unless he find a way to get into the grave. Even then, what? Are they just going for game? Do they have a way to go for game here? They get special summon Yuki, but it has zero attacks, so it's not doing anything here. Plus, how much defense does the. This might be just game, right? How much defense does the Yuki have? There's attack? Yeah, only has 600. This is a game. So it has very low defense. So this is actually game. Monakashi making the comeback, winning, and now we go to game three. I forgot the Gookie Sushi had low defense. Unfortunate, they actually matter. If I had over 2,000, Sushi would have had another turn and actually probably win the duel. But that low defense didn't matter. So Wayakashi wins game two. Nice job. Now we go to game three. Between the final games between Sushi and Makashi. Alright, Makashi start. Oh, now Sushi go first. Reveals the Shari. Special summons the Shari, special summons the Gunipu deck alongside the Shari. Then proceeds to draw a card. Thanks to the power, the Sushi Dreadnought. Come on, four, Gugi Sushi Dreadnought. Draw one card. Most broken effect ever. And now we see if he has anything more. He does have the Uni and he reveals the Shari, which means he can special summon both. And thanks to the additional effect of Uni, he can then add a card. He makes it at rank 5. 
And now he will have Inami and potentially two back row or just one. We'll see. Next where is these both goes into the Nami. Very nice. Empty versus white, ha. Huh? Don't make a joke there, Hans, you know better. Two sets, we know he has the Shari in hand, which is useless if he doesn't draw into another Shari. Or if we need we need work too. He starts with 1 1, which means he can special summon the Hanji of the deck. He has the XYZ block. Ooh, that's brutal. Gets negated and destroyed, which means that's out of the picture now. But I assume Yakasha must have more summons. That can't be it. But the problem is, he still has access to one more back row and a Venomi, so it's kind of rough. Uses his return to look through his deck and adds another Hajin. And then just proceeds to normal summon the Hajin. And it's, uses Yuki's effect, but unfortunately, Venomi says nope. And I mean, at this point, yeah, it's over. <laughs> White Yakasha could not play through the back disruption, so MTPA wins with Sushi. Over our two wins and one loss for overall victory. All right, Sushi so move on to round four, and let's see what's next, shall we? Okay. All right, we're gonna watch this match. Uh, okay, this is a good one. We're gonna watch this one. Ah, gotcha. So if he had more, you didn't have a way to stop him. <clears throat> Fair enough. And now we got Jin Zero vs. Sully Man. As you know, Jin Z was the winner of our first Big Blow Cup. Okay, yeah, Big Blow Cup. He was the first winner with his trusty Red Eyes deck, which he has decided to bring to this tournament as well. Which he's going first with, and which against S4, you really do want to be going first against this deck. Reveals the Red Eyes Block Meteor Dragon, special summons it, uses the effect, goes, you know what, I'm gonna send the return. And thanks to return, he has to but he did not summon the vanilla, so of course he has to return the card, but he can now special summon the uh Rice Vanilla, which he decides to do. And now if he so decides to, he can oh yeah, before I forget, this is actually round four. We are now actually currently in round four. And... Normal summons the Black Metal Dragon, which means he can now lick it off. And thanks to that, Black Metal Dragon's effect will trigger, which means, hey, guess what? I'm gonna add the Insight. Uses the Insight to play his Red Eyes. Yeah, him and Jinzo aren't on good. I don't know. I guess Jinzo got tired of being a Jinzo. He wanted to be a Red Eyes. What can you say? I mean, he won the BBC with it, so he's doing good. All right, ranks up as the Red Eyes win chain, but proceeds to X Y Z summon to level seven to go into 
Red Eyes Foil Mail Dragon, aka Tax Dragon. So Gen Zero has decided that you know what, Soy Man, you're gonna have to pay your taxes now, bro. And well, now the game starts. Can Soy Man pay his taxes? We'll find out. So now it's Soy Man's turn. And he decides to begin with, well, we'll find out. Oh, before he can do anything, Jinzo has decided to activate the Red Eyes Fangle Chain early. And now if Solar Man tries anything, at any point, Jinzo can say nope and just yoink the monster. Proceeds to set, set another back row. And decides, you know what? I like this so much, I'm gonna set three. Chances are one of those are the trap, a reinforced truth, which Solar Man can use to special summon a warrior level two from deck. And all Jinzo's got is the red eyes and the XYZ and the Oh, he's got Necrofusion! Oh damn! Does he have two red eyes in gray? He does. What is the best gear free build? Uh, the one I see most often. I don't know if this one. I don't know if this is the best one, but the one I see the most is for sure the um, live twin amazement. Yeah, I just seen like people just like mashing like all the engines in uh, gear free these days. I don't know if that's the best, but that's the one I've been seeing the most recently. Oh, but because he reborn, he can't. <laughs> because he because he made his zones full, he can't resolve the Renekro Fusion, which means it, it just fizzles without activation. Unfortunate. Not a good play there done by Jinzo, but he's not the game yet. He still has a full field of two, three red eyes and the Link Rebo. But that was a blunder, yeah. Had he not done that, he could have summoned the fusion and pop one back, but would have one less to worry about on his turn. But unfortunately, yeah, he didn't misplay there. He has the slash dragon. And slash dragon. Okay, this actually doesn't look too bad though. He does have the Slash Dragon, he's got the X, Y, Z. This is game, but the thing is, there's no shot. Soul Man doesn't have some very scary back row waiting. And we'll see if one of them happens to be Reinforced Truth. S-Force is a deck where just because they don't summon any monsters doesn't mean there isn't going to be a huge board of monsters very soon. If Sumini has the right back row, let's see. This will force a response from Soli Man if he has one. There's a delay, so most likely he has something. And come on, Soli Man, what do you have through the three back row? Okay, see, so Soli Man is thinking, he's wondering. How should I approach this? Fair enough, very understandable. You don't want to rush to make a mistake. Oh, he lets the attack go through, really? Let's go. Oh, congrats, Jay. That's like an epic com I mean, comeback. Okay, he takes the attack with XYZ, but then proceeds to use Reinforced Truth. Special summons the Churamaru from his deck, uses Churamaru's effect. But he chains the chain, which means he's gonna yoink the Chamaru. Does Soli Man have a response or no? Uh, 
Okay, he chains to the activation of Red Eyes for Penguin Chain. S Force Chase, which means now he can choose to target any of the monsters here and return them to the extra deck or will end. He chooses to target the vanilla. And that's just over. <laughs> the game glitched again, big one. What do I do? Uh, if you can send a screenshot of the glitch in question and post it on Term and Help on our Discord, we can confirm if it was a bug or not. And if we can't confirm it was a bug, the match will be restarted. Just have, yeah, take a screenshot of the bug and post it on Term and Help. If, we, if a mod can confirm it was a bug, we will. We will say the match restarts, and we will not take no no one takes the win in it. All right, the Jinzo wins game number one, and now we move on to game number two. Also, hot damn! Oh wow. Okay, we do have the breakdown. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Terminator, give me a minute. Yeah, if someone's a Terminator, please uh, don't bother them unless they're okay with it. Okay, so Jinzo is going first. Normal summon is the gear free. Activates the skill. No, I'm sorry, blackmail is okay. Activates the ass insight. No prefer no live twins. Yeah, I don't know what's the best gear free. It's just recently the build I see the most with gear free is with live twins. I don't know if that's the best build of gear free. It's just the one I've been seeing the most recently. Thank you for the raid. Hi, I'm Deserbia. I'll figure of the fall as well, Atonia. Sorry if I didn't say that earlier. Hello, hello. Again, thank you, Raiders. Welcome to the uh, stream. Uh, thank you for the follow, Penelakata. And let's see, he's got two back throws, he's got the chain. He has the follow-up Black Mirror Dragon. It's looking pretty good for Red Eyes here, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, thank you for the follow again. Hi, I'm Serbia. Appreciate it, very appreciated. What character do you use to pull cars with stare? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I have like a lucky character I always use. I just use whoever I'm currently on usually. Okay, he's got a razor and gravitino on the field. I'm currently on shark. All right, got the Edge Razor and Gravitino. Someone actually came to the tournament on Gladiator Beast. What? to justify... Is it just gonna get yoinked by the chain now? Not 
Not gonna lie, this breakdown is kind of looking yikes. Yep, uses the chain's effect to steal the Justify. Now it's uh, Jinzo's. He will chain the negate. Not that it does anything here. I mean, he does prevent the back row off. So actually, that it doesn't matter here. My bad. Oh. And then he, not the UR you wanted. Oh no, I understand that thing, bro. I really do. Now it's Red Eye's turn. He's got the follow up, but he has two back. He has a full field here, so he can't use it if he wanted to. Uh, hi, uh, Joey Much. I hope your day's been well, friend. Activates another chain. And uses the reinforced truth to special summon any level two warrior from death that he so desires, which is most likely Charmaru. And then, yeah, yeah, is he still in? There's no Shah, right? There's no shot the Gladiator Beast is still in, right? Yeah, Soleil Man is currently playing against Jinzo, who was the winner of the Big Blow Cup. Yeah, his horse is a quite strong deck. He lost round one. <laughs> that sounds about right, I'm not gonna lie. But very, I, I admire the guy's bets. Whoever played it, be very, uh, very important. I admire your confidence. Like all the mid bells. Yeah, blue bells just drop it. This is not a good deck. It's like okay, fun, but it's just not on the level of the meta decks. Okay, normal sum is the black metal dragon. Did he uh, already link off or link Rebo? He did not, so you can look it off for a search now. Yes, you did, Tauros. Yes, you did. You had the last laugh. No one would. No, you had it. You were right. The deck is not good. Uh, Gravity Beast, Gravity Beast are lacking support. This is true. But now he's blocking your dragon. is searched. And it's Super Broken Skills. Super Broken Skills can solve any problem. This is true. Yes, you're also right about that, Tauros. So I guess Tauros is having this victory dance where he's like, I was right, guys. I was freaking right. He's just super cheerful about it. <laughs> okay, level 7. I don't know. This is looking very bad for S-Force. I'm not going to lie. I don't fancy S-Force chances here. They were kind of available before, but now this seller just eats you well, so now we're playing. Fair enough. Coin Stellar is a very strong deck. <laughs> Change all GB cards to insert useful R shape at the start of the door. <laughs> don't be, oh man, don't be like that. He attempts to activate S Force, but he uses the Fire's Finger Chain, but he can chain the Chamaru so he can dodge the S Force Chain. And thanks to that, he returns to Charamaru. He can banish the Red Dragon the Grave, which means he doesn't have this card from as a cost. Has uh, Lapras Well, which actually is very, very, very strong defense, which means he can't be. And he brings back the Justify. I think S Force might just win this. Okay, this went from looking good for Jinzo to looking now horrible for him. Now he has to deal with the Black Dark Hole on Legs and the Negate and another Tramaru. Uses Lopper's effect, banish to the chase, and that's it. Soli Man wins game number two.
We now currently are in game three between Jinzo and Soliman. I miss the loot. The sword is who now? <laughs> uh, I'm guessing the loot is an old player who played Monokashi, but who doesn't play Duel Links anymore. Okay, he's got two level sevens on the field. XYZ is in two. The red ass flare. Metal Dragon, also known as Tax Dragon. Uses Tax Dragon's effect to bring back the vanilla. That uses Return the Red Eyes to special summon. Is he gonna go to two Tax Dragon? I hope so. That'd be funny. Probably not like the actually best combo to do, but it's just funny. So I actually kind of hope he does it. He goes into the Vulcanist, the Darkness Dragon Doom Rider in attack mode. So he's got one face up card pop. He's got the chain, he's got the trap, he's got the follow-up. Looking pretty good for him. Does he have another back row? He does indeed. Okay, this is a very strong turn one for the Red Eyes player. Doing in defense of Bluebell. Taurus and Shambles right now. <laughs> Alright, he's got Edge Razor. He normal summons the Edge Razor, especially summons any S Force of his choosing from the hand. Chooses the Gravitino. He does have to pay the tax though, unfortunately. No longer can you play Yu-Gi-Oh for free. You must pay the tax to actually play Yu-Gi-Oh now. So it pays 500 for the entire turn one play. So my man with 3,500 LP is <laughs> still a lot, really. And let's see, what does Soli Man decide to do now? It'd be cool to have the TV force of DLM. It'd be cool, but yeah, I don't think they doesn't seem they accept those. Alright, Link sit them all off, including the attractive from hand to go into Justify, which feels really greedy, I'm not gonna lie. I guess the idea is you can force two disruptions here. If they use the chain to steal the justify, you can chain the to take to target the Doom Rider and then. So I can understand this actually. He does have three back rows, so it makes sense. It makes sense to serve the yeah, makes sense. Uh, okay. Attacks the Doom Rider. Uses Compulse, but then he will simply. Chain Justify, target the Doom Rider. But the effect negation is not. Berman, I don't believe. Yeah, until the end of the turn, which means on his turn, he can actually use the... <clears throat> he can actually use the Doom Rider's effect again. However, if he has Reinforced Truth, he can banish Rio Attractive from Grave. So... He, ha he has that for Chamaru. He has the IDP. Ooh. Brutal. Insanely brutal. Either way, he's gonna lose a dragon here, and he loses follow up too. I think that's just it. This IDP is just gonna win the game for Soli, man. I don't see what Jizo can do here. Even if he talks like Red Eyes Fusion, if one of these cards is reinforced truth and the other is the bounce shaft is over regardless.
But hey, if he takes out the Doom Rider, he can still have to pay the tax. And you can use Return the Red Eyes to special summon a level 7. Okay, so Solomon just has to think what would he prefer to get rid of. Does he prefer to get rid of the um, Doom Rider or the. He chooses to get rid of the Red Eyes, makes sense. He does have another Black Meteor in Grave, but since it was just sent that turn, he can't use it yet. Red Eyes can still fight, but the IDP was. Insanely brutal. So I don't know. Yeah, he just attacks with the Doom Rider. And Taurus with the comeback. And let's see. Doom Rider attacks and he lets and Soleiman Man lets it go through. Fair enough. Uses Reinforced Truth. Now the question is, does he have the trap to force the Doom Rider's pop? Because if he tries to use him here, Doom Rider will sit up. Oh. Now as an attempt to do that, it will force out the Doom Rider. Doom Rider is that actually goes through, okay. They cannot be active in the damage step. What's not the damage step though? Hmm. Okay, returns the charm mark to hand. I mean, this lives rent free in my head. <laughs> this is, it really does. It really does live rent free in your head. Yeah, red eyes. Still try, still try to like survive. Gravitino is summoned. Thanks to Gravitino being summoned, he can choose to add any S Force card of his desire. Slowly man decides to add the field spell. And at that point, Jinzo says, yep, that's it. And it's his turn. He has number black meteor in his grave. And probably hoping the opponent doesn't go IDP again. Oh, he has his specimen, which means he can bring back another Gravitino, which will result in another search. Oh, but he has the DD Crow. Jinzo saying, nope. Rejects the rejects the Gravitino search here, but he Jinzo still sorry Solomon still has the field spell which he can use to activate and then proceed to add any I think it's only monster with the field spell right yeah only monsters he decides to add the Platina yeah Red Eye still kicking not gonna lie and he sacrifices the guy of Tino to special summon the Platina, which he can then use the effect of to special summon Garotino to then use the effect to search again. Gravitino is now ser searching for the showdown. And then Oh, it's kind of spooky, not gonna lie. I don't know if it's gonna win this situation. As far as got more cards, but... Jinzo still, still has to pop and he still has to follow up. I guess we'll find out. And their Born Trap was denied. Okay, this will force out the Doom Rider. Attacks the, I assume, the Platina, yes. And because it was okay, get the attack boost, and now he only has the one Gavitino. He probably doesn't have another reborn trap. We know one of this is the spell. The other is probably the bounce trap. I don't know. Red Eyes actually. I think Red Eyes just went here, right? Red Eyes Fusion is added from deck to hand. It uses Red Eyes Fusion to make. Oh, as Showdown is revealed. He's got the trap, he can bounce both. That's actually very, very bad for Red Eyes.
And does he, in fact, have the... He doesn't have a card in gray, which means he needs an S-Force to... He needs the S-Force chase in gray in order to use Charm Mars effect to bounce it back. But he's got the trap. This ain't, look, this ain't looking good for red eyes, that's for sure. Mills the Beast of Tawar, the Rise by Dragon, and come forth, Archfiend Black Skull Dragon. Wait, if he had the 3500 attack red eyes, wasn't that just game? Wasn't that ironically just game? Because he went normal summon activate effect center red eyes. And that's just been game, right? Is he red he's out of red eyes though? So he couldn't use the burn effect. Oh that's rough. And now Chase will activate, bounce both, and because he reused red eyes fusion, he cannot chain the trap. Say goodbye to your entire Tire field, red eyes. And now, unfortunately, Jinzo just forced to pass, and because he now has a chase in the graveyard, he can now banish it to activate Charm Mars effect to special summon any S Force of his desire. And Soy Man decides to special summon over Gavitino, which he can then use to trigger his effect to add. What do you add? I never chase. Fair enough. And I believe he's got one more chase in grave in deck, I believe. Yeah, he's got one more chase. And that's it. Soul Man wins game three. Good job, Soul Man. Uh that was a 2-1 victory in Soul Man's favor. And now we move on. Uh, good job, though, Jinzo. You put up a good fight. Uh, let's see. Now we watch... Let's see what else there is. Hmm, I don't know if that's what you want to watch. Is there any other interesting matches? We will watch... Okay, how about this one? Okay. We're gonna watch this one. Do 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 do. Just gotta put the match on. And now we got. J vs. Borges, I hope I'm saying that right. This is currently their final game. <clears throat> and this is back in round three, so I will just fix that quickly. And all right, starting the duel versus J. J vs. Bor. And Live Twin going first, so uh <laughs> I mean you already know that's great for Live Twin. Live Twin and their cousin Coin Stellar always wants to go first, so going first is already when they have to duel. But but how much back did they open? That is the question. Let's see, first they go for Lila. Use Lila's effect to bring back the He's got uh, draw one, use the skill, get 2,000 LP, take it off again for the Kisuki, and now they can use the effect to any point during the post-may phase, bring back the 
Why allowed to pop a card? Only two back row, but they might have hand traps. That's something to consider. They got the roll end. They link it off, which means during the end phase, they get to search. Their gear free boss monster. And now, time to get the effect triggers. He adds the administrator. The pop will happen. One says no. IDP. Whoever doing that does let you all, but they have the droplet. But they have a roll end in hand. Which means they can send it back, which means they do get the gear free. Okay. Gear free is still looking fine here, not gonna lie. Plus, if they activate Lila's. Oh no. Okay, well, to be fair, that wasn't really doing anything in this situation anyway. I mean, you can stop with one back row, but yeah. Okay, the normal summon anything, it will get stopped. Yeah. Or not. Does not have any more invasion chests in death. Yeah, if you're playing this sort of light win, you're basically playing a game of man. I hope I'm skillful enough to go first. <laughs> It really do be like that. It really do. Okay, that forces and this is his game. Unfortunately, Jay just gets he just had the skill issue of going first. Not much more can be as to go second, sorry. Not much more can be said. Remember guys, if you play against either Coin Stella or Light Twin. You have to be very good at the game and go first. This is very important. If you go second, this is a skill issue. Do not have a skill issue. <laughs> and yeah, unfortunately, that was game three. So, four, I mean, fortunately for four, congrats for four. You move on to the next round. And Jay, I'm sorry, you tried your best, but yeah, you do lose there, unfortunately. You try, man. You try. Why well, Twin is just really hard to beat when you go a second. Alright, now let's see what's next. And hope you don't have extenders, yeah. Basically, open your effect dealer. Skill issue if you don't. Okay, let's see. That match is over. Alright, this match is going dangerously close to time. So let's see what's going on here. At least he didn't do it. Yeah, at least you put the fight, right? That's what matters. By any chance, was the match you won, you go you went first? By any chance. Gameplay. I'm hoping this is 1-1. Yep, this is our last game. Bash vs. Rise. This is still round three. All right, Bash for Rise, and we got no. I want you went first. Nice. Rise goes first, and summons the Harvester. Top thirty-two yesterday. Ouch! Just got lucky, I guess. I mean, it, it, when you go against Lights, we go a second. You kind of just hope. Okay, please don't open all your back row. And don't open headshots on top of that. <laughs> Just... <laughs> Alright. Links off into the Goliath. Summons the Brule Dozer. Brule Dozer at his effect. Come on, fourth Tunneler. And now we go to rank five. Add any Earth Machine at this so desire. Thanks to the power of River Storm. River Storm activates. Use the effect to add a Citadel. Very nice. Links it off with Goliath once again. And then... Goes into Trencher. And then... 
the Restormers. Okay, it comes back, Goliath, which attaches itself. Extension. Extension will rank up the River Stormer into the Great, the One, the Only, Mountain Smasher. Now there's the old Infinity Track. You would put this defense, activate effect, set to, call it a day. But this is the new and improved Earth Machine, which means he will in fact not do that. And instead, we'll try to get Sid in the grave. And he will do so by... Really? He couldn't get Sid? Okay, so this is just the old Infinity Track. What? <laughs> Alright, he's got a Chalice. That's good. But he has the... No drop foot. Okay. Does he have the Extender? Okay, first he links it off for the Bellnix, I assume. Bellnix effect activates, search the field spell, stack maturity. And thanks to that, he has a free discard. Ah, that's that must have been pain to him, not gonna lie. And lo and behold. Come forth, Lila. Lila's effect activates. Come and bring us back the kiss skill. And see, use the secret password to add the pass. I mean, password, yeah. The present, sorry. And now it links them off for the skill. Use the effect to bring back the pop. Decides to pop the hidden lost back row, which was a bluff. Not gonna lie. Um. Which time left? Oh, is it already over? Yeah, it's already over. Okay, damn. Doing this face in the next moment. I mean, we might as well see what happened here. All right, Ice Dragon Prison. Okay, yeah, I can see how. Um... Actually, no. Right? Oh, damn. Okay, if you try search for a dozer, I was hasting that game. Forgot the contributor face. Yeah, I, that's that's fair enough. Bash, I understand. I think that's. Um... Not to mention, you had a really long match. Mistakes like these are understandable. It's cool, man. Alright. Air Raider. Summit, okay, links off. And come for Goliath once again. Oh, it actually said two, didn't he? Sorry, it's always a Goliath. Okay, Earth Slicer comes back, Earth Slicer says, you know what, pop time, and IDP is now gone, well the second one at least, and links off again for Goliath, uh, no problem dude, I'm glad you enjoyed yourself, I hope everyone enjoyed the tournament. Um, uh, all right. Air Raiders in fact activates, brings back these, brings back the machine of Fortress. Sigil comes back. Sigil says, you know what? I want to blow up everything. Works out. No fall or no live twin summon. Earth Machine can just go crazy here. Earth Slicer to force off the last back row. Invisible Squad, so it's just dead there. Proceeds to rank up into the good old Libe, and yeah, just attack directly, and you win. Uh, congrats on both duelists, you both did a good fight, but Rise does here move on to the next round. And I believe that's all round three. So now we're either, we got your people in the round four or in the top eight. So. Let's see, only one match left, and two matches left actually in the uh, next one. Uh, doing, you should get ready, your next match is starting. Let's see, is there any spice left, or am I just, um, any spice, or am I just coping? Let's find out.
Okay, we got a couple options for matches. Okay. <clears throat> we'll watch this one then. When you leave. Be right back. Wait, what? Okay. Enter the next room. And now we got Soli Man vs. Undex. Undead X? I guess that's how you say it. They're currently both on game one. And this is a uh, quarter final, so this is actually, in fact, the top eight. So, yeah, this is currently the top eight. There are some people left in top 16 back, though. I think there's two matches left in the top 16. Yeah. <laughs> Wait! Oh, so, okay. Let's see, okay. Soliman is going first. That's S Force always have to go first. Got the Charmaru, Discarded Gartino, got the Radio Attractive, Return to Hand, Special Summon the Platina, and come forth, Gartino, add Showdown, which means if he has the trap, links them all off, say, you know what, I want to justify. And come on forth, justify. All right, the breakdown is now here, guys. If you want to see it, it's on the Discord and Terminator breakdowns. We had 25 to Stellos Joy. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of coin sellers joined the tournament. A lot, I'm not gonna lie. And I think you start seeing Tenny actually dropping down somewhat. Alright. Justifies effect, negate. This is really brutal for my gosh, you hot damn. They have the return, but like, it's a full floodgate, so it's just gonna be banish. And yep. Not, now it was just, you just not allowed to play the game. Yep. Uh, S Force is just, that was just a full floodgate, not much being done there. So, but Sorry Man wins game one, congrats, but Undead still has a chance as they move on to game two. And undone, undead, make a comeback? We will see. Well, does he go first? Because that kind of matters. <laughs> um, he does not go first, okay. But maybe now undead just has to hope that he does not open his crazy. Maybe. I'm never 100% sure with Konami, I'm not going to lie. And let's see, Gravitino is set to not as strong as last time, so Undead may have a chance here. He just has to hope that his hand is equipped to deal with whatever. Okay, Yasha is a pretty good start. He has now the, the full combo without using up his normal summon, which is very good. Alright, and now we got Showdown, 
Showdown will special summon any escorts of his desire for the hand defense mode. And he adds the oh no. Oh no, full floodgate once again. I guess Undead is just not going to be allowed to play the game today. Unfortunate. <laughs> Sometimes you're just not allowed to play the game. Anyway, for anyone curious, um, let me just make this bigger. Oh, we'll see. Let me just make this. Uh... Here we go. For anyone curious, here's the breakdown. We got 25 Constellar, 15 Miyakashi, and 11 Light Twin, 9 Tenny, 7 Earth Machine, 6 S Force, 3 Suit Sheep, Rocket, Gear Freed, Red Eyes, Speedroid, 2 UB, Starry Night, Ulti Bashy Doll. We got a lot of decks. Ah, <laughs> uh, man. And cause everyone wanted to play Constellar, not gonna lie. Alright, back to my dragon head. Uh, yeah, the graph though was done thanks to Nintendo. Major thank you, uh, Nintendo Cat. And now, back to the tournament. But if you want to see the breakdown, just like bask in the glory of this coin seller, it is there in break. It is there in the tournament breakdown on our Discord. Okay. And now, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> this is just. You, you're just not allowed to play Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, what else can I say? You're just not allowed to play Yu-Gi-Oh! Okay, they can make the Link 2. Indeed, best deck, Jay. You can bring back the Daki. But if he links it off, it does get flanked. Econ is an insane card in line to this, this is true. We'll see, man, we'll see. They are they are eligible for a hit soon, this is true. They should be getting a hit next to KC Cup, probably. Okay, let's see. What does Undead X Dead do here? Because I'm not gonna lie, this does not look good for him. Gravitino's Floodgate effect is super strong. They might not get hit. It's possible. They might not perform well. We'll see. I think they're a good choice for Casey Cup usually, though. I mean, just go first and <laughs> open all the background. You're probably win the duel. Unless your opponent opens like the nuts. Yeah, not gonna lie. This is not looking good for Undead. He was just completely Floodgate and just unable to play the game. He could make the Link 2 and use the skill, but like... All Soul Man has to do to win this duel is just get access to another S Force Chase, banish the Link, banish the main. It's like, what does the S, like, what does Miyakashi do at that point? I don't know what they do. Alright, they link it off, they go into Underclock Taker, really? That means they're most likely going to the Monster Reborn. Charmara comes on the field, banishes the Platuna, and says, you know what, Monster Reborn time, let's go. Brings back the Gravitino. Will most likely, oh, decides to do the Daki, makes sense, doesn't want the Daki follow up. And as the specimen, oh no. Yeah, we'll see. There's a lot of factors that you count. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Underclock Taker's effect to use to make the Daki 1000 attack. And is he just going for 
Oh no, not like this, man. Not like this. There's none giant of both. Uh, the, there's only like a couple Shadal that joined and they all lost early. Oh damn, Soli Man just completely slaughtered in my Akashi. Congrats to Soli Man, he moves on. And um I believe how many Shadows joined? Only one joined, and he lost in like round two, I believe. Oh, Konami's microwave strikes again. That was game three. Congrats to you, Soli Man. Undead you tried, but unfortunately you were floodgated. All right, we move on. I don't, I, I don't like S Force, but I wouldn't call it Brain Dead. That's the deck you're talking about. There is something in that is required in the deck. I would say it's like Giga Brain, but like there is something in the deck. All right, let's see who is next. And next we shall watch, uh, let's see. All right. Floodgates well, are not welcome. <laughs> I don't blame you for thinking that, Pixie. I, I, I hate Floodgates myself. So I don't blame you for thinking that. Okay, now this is who we're gonna have to watch. This. All right, go move on. I missed the breakdown. Uh, let's see. You were in fact, not the only Gear Freak. There are three in total. You are one of three. Yeah, it's okay, Solar Man. Uh, it happened. Uh, Should win Gorlin 3 to negate Gravitino, then summon Doc Beat. Yeah, fair enough. Be right back. Alright, next match. We got. Dune vs. Rise, and Dune is on fact on Tenny, which we actually have not seen the entire tournament so far. And in comes Dune vs. Rise. When I, th when I look at, honestly, when I look at you go, I'm thinking of Paris. Not gonna lie. All right. Harvester is summoned. Come forth, Trencher. And. Discard. Brings back and brings the Fortress and the Air Raider. Eh, understandable, so I mean, we have a long tournament and this plays are expected. I mean, some of the dumbest misplays when I determine is that I still face plant every time I think about, like, slam myself. I just, like, face plant the floor about. Alright. Goes the River Stormer. Decides to search Crab Crane. Crab Crane can give him the continuous spell extension, which he can use to rank up into everyone's spirited car, Mountain Smasher. But first, he decides to go to Goliath. And then he decides to use Crab King's effect then. Single Minish is much better for starting up. Uh, do you mean no side is much better? Because it was always Single Minish. I'm assuming you mean it's better than no side. Alright. I understand, uh, General B. Usually I'm hosting the... I would not use the auto build feature to help uh, build decks, my friend. If you want like a more, um... Auto build is, is more like, I just, it's more like a just to use for fun. Like maybe like a start, but I would not recommend it to like make a final build of anything. Uh, I would not give big songs. I would not recommend it. I really wouldn't. 
All right, that said, we got Tanny versus uh, Earth Machine. First, we got Adara Special Sub. We got now the Link 1, Monk of the Tenny. And we got Vessel. Okay. Oh, but we have the IDP. But we have the Circle. IDP denied. Very, very good. But he still has to play through. Oh, but no, his board is full. He can't summon the Sid. No, he can't because it'll destroy itself. He's coping with Pendle and Dragons. <laughs> Uh, okay, the blue is summoned, goes into the Link 2, I assume. Yes, indeed, Shaman the Tenny has been summoned. Discards the circle, had a second hand, gotcha, uses the skill, like Legend of Heroes. Goes into the Link 3 to go into Berserker. Everyone's fair to vanilla beat stick. Sets a card, ends his turn, makes sense. Ranks up. Have you played Metaphys before? No, but I have fought against it a couple times. Usually you win, but they manage to stall. Usually it's pretty easy to win, but you sometimes they do manage to stall the duel out for a while. It's not really a fun deck to fight. Circle is triggered. Goes in the part. Is it just game though? Unfortunately, Dune has lost game one, but good for Rise. Game one is Ghost to Rise. Unfortunately, that IDP was just really brutal. IDP and Warren Point are both trap cards Tenny does not like to see. But Dune still has a chance as we move on to game number two. And yeah, I do think I do think no side is easier. I was trying both, but I do think I like no side more. Just because it is the turbine is faster, and it's also much easier to have the decks ready for DLM. I mean, mods still have to be active in case of someone potentially cheating for side. Uh, in no sides, but we'll see. I might make it. No side perm. I'm, I don't know. Kind of. There are people who do prefer side. I don't know. I think at the moment, at least this meta, I think it's probably better no side. So I think next starting cup, I'll probably keep it no side. I don't know. I think this meta is, is probably just better to keep it no side. Not gonna lie. I I might just have it as a vote again. I'll think about it. Because there are people who do prefer side, so I don't know, I'll think about it. I think the uh, the big blow cup, whoever, will probably still be side. So it might actually make more sense when we just have no side, so there's more variance. <clears throat> Alright, Dun is doesn't have to worry about IDP since this time, so now he can just pop off. Monk of the Tenny is just two, Ashuna has summoned. Count four, Ashuna. Oh, that will force a response if he doesn't have. Oh, goes in the back, Sia returns two. And that's just game if he doesn't have anything. Forces will trigger, but doesn't matter. And Tenny be Tenny and just be, stop everything and just win, I guess. Guys, to do it, that was game two, and now we move on to the final game. All right, game three. But yeah, I can understand the appeal of no side, but I also understand there are people who do like side. So I don't know. But at the same time, the BBC is most likely still going to be side. So I think it does kind of make more sense now starting no side, so there's more variance. So it's not just like we only have one thing going on in the starting cat server.
abolish side. <laughs> I know you're very anti-side, uh, Haley. Uh, Gino has the... Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Gino. I think BBC being a side deck is fine. But for the uh, smaller starting cup, I do think it makes more sense to keep it uh, no side. It is something that I'm more on the side of actually agreeing with the uh, statement, yeah. Okay, he's got Berserker and he's got the... Uh, but does he have Book of Moon? Does he have blue or red? Does he actually just lose here? All Ryze has to do is just go into like rank 11 and it's over. Dude, it's gonna have to hope for some very good top draw two here, not gonna lie. Having the Berserker Book of Moon down was not good for him, that's for sure. Alright, goes into River Stormer. River Stormer now can search any Earth Machine. He adds the oh that delay doing just drew into an effect deal, I assume. Okay, he was thinking, do I desire to negate that? And Dune decided, no, I do not wish to negate that. All right, Crab King is now summoned. And now he adds the extension. Do you not have a chat trap actually? I guess we'll see. But honestly, just in general, uh, the other favorite deck in Duel Links, Starry Knights. 100% man. That's why this term is called Starry Felt. Because Starry Knights is my favorite deck. I love Starry Knight. Alright, we got a redeployment. As the Raider and as the Citadel. It's not. I'm not, I'm not humoring that statement. I don't care what y'all say. Star Dragon loves all. Star Dragon loves all. Welcome back, Doris. Like I said, Alien Nature, I understand why people don't like Psy. I understand fully why, but I also understand why some people like side. I'm just saying I understand why people there are people who like side and people. Who, I don't agree with that poll. It was, it was faked. It was manipulated. It's all false. I don't agree with it. Here's the Discord again. If anyone's curious, I don't agree with it. It answered powers, but it's not his fault. That's just how it's written. Hello, villain Kosk. It's not his fault, guys. Jeez. This deck you simply can't be your Again, yeah, I, like I said, I understand there's people who, I said, there's people who like side and people who don't like side. I am. Um, I understand both sides. That's why I want to give both tournaments a try. I gave term a side a try and no side a try. I understand people who have a preference. I, I really do. If you ever play against their mages, the trap card self destruct makes the players tie. Hmm? Fair enough. <laughs> okay, Link off into. He's gotten a hot to now, that's nice. Come for. Monk of the Tenny. He still has the field spell too, which means his links are protected from Sigil's effect. He's got Bishuda if he wants to force out the Citadel. He chooses to indeed, he chooses to force out the Citadel. 
he no longer has to worry about it, but there is still an unknown back row. I'll see about just hosting that I never like maybe like voting for like if people want side or no signing man. Because I do prefer both. I, I do like both. So I'm fine with both. So I'm actually just kinda like interested to see what side wins. But again, I don't know. It's something that I can understand both side arguments on. Vote for 10 tech format? Nah, man, nah, 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 nah. Definitely not. Vaxi is summoned. He returns both the cards. It was a chalice. And Vaxia is unfortunately negated, but that's all the back row. Right? So just has to hope that Dune can't keep going. Now the question is, Dylan, can you keep going? You still have to worry about the extension, which does give the Mountain Smasher target protection, and you already used Vishuda. Okay, you choose to go into Shaman the Tengi to bring it back Vaxia. Uh, well, I guess, villain. I would say I can also understand why people who, who don't like um, floodgate, who don't like side, because it is really frustrating when you lose a duel because your your opponent opened near any floodgate and you just don't have the L. I, so I understand why people prefer no side because it is really frustrating to lose a duel because your opponent opened a floodgate and you just don't have the response. I I generally do not blame people who don't like side because it is frustrating to lose a floodgate. I, I I fully understand that. Oh, does Dune have lethal here? I think Dune might have lethal here. Does he actually have lethal? He has lethal! Well, the, the forces will not trigger. And that means Dune wins game three. Congrats to Dune. Tenny will move forward. Oh, actually, I should have said that was round four, too. Sorry, that's not top top eight anymore. We're that was round four. Okay, leave uh, room. That was uh, game three, I believe. Yep. Yeah, do, uh, Konami doesn't really care about side. I don't think this is a terminate. Yes, this is a terminate Jigglypuff. Right, it was to be illegal if Konami wouldn't hit side deck cards in TCG OCG. Bro, room. <laughs> no room, Drewy. You know this. Alright, next game. Uh, next match. Alright. We will now watch... Uh, let's see what we got. No, mo Floodgate. You don't main Floodgates. It's very rare. If you got people made of floodgates, that's not good. Because that means one deck is so oppressive that people just main it because they expect to face nothing but it. Okay, there is Constellars, but it's a mirror match. Don't think we want to see that. So instead, we will watch... Um, Okay, top four, Mayakashi versus S-Force again. Gravitino is a floodgate. <laughs> he does have you there, Alien HR. Taurus is correct. 
Fair enough, villain. You are you are allowed to your opinion. It's still a floodgate, alien HR. It's still a floodgate. Even if it's part of the deck, it's still a floodgate. Okay, this is currently Disbillion vs. Solar Man, and Disbillion is indeed ahead by one game. It's tier 0 in Solar Man's hands. Alright, Disbillion vs. Solar Man. But this one is ahead, and he's going first. That's not good for S-Force. Red Eyes Force in chat. Return is activated. Oh, hey, Jizo. Such a loss, man, but hey, you had a good run. Thanks for joining our tournament. It's going good, man. It's going good. And then... We got the oh they're doing they're not using the skill. Makes sense. Alright, we got Okay, they're doing the line. Unfortunately this line, well it does make sense logically, does take require longer to finish as well. And look at that, man. You got more people on Red Eyes. The Red Eyes Tier 0 Dream does not die yet. It lives on. Alright. Goes to the Tengu, the Wimakashi. And sadly, Suship is out of the tournament. They lost earlier, I believe. I don't think Suship is still in. Let me check. I, I don't think they are, yeah. Uh... Yeah, Suship is out of the tournament, unfortunately. I believe the only decks left is Earth Machine, Coin Stellar, Mayakashi, and there's one Tenny. Alright, Yuki Oni comes out, and the combo is almost finished. I mean, we've seen this uh, enough times, I assume. Is there any other deck that summons as much as Makashi in one turn? Not gonna lie. Okay, Daki comes out. Alright, Yuki only the Ice Club Makashi. Link sum. <laughs> I again. Is there any deck that sounds as much as Mayakashi? If you don't side, you will lose three fifth most of the time. I don't know if I agree with that. All right, Daki comes out, and there's the full mod. Oh, he's got two sets too. Very very strong. Heal spell is used. He's got Gravitino. And this is top four, by the way. I should actually correct that. Apologies. This is actually top four. Apologies. Suship, you wait till battle phase. They can't. The rank five doesn't work in the main phase. And that'd be just game. Unfortunately, now yeah, Soli Man is not one not allowed to play you here today. And just like that, it's over. Soli Man, unfortunately, you lost, but good run, man. You got the top four of this S Force. Very impressive. All right. Uh, just pulling wins 2 0. He moves on to the grand finals with Maikashi. And now, while we wait for. Now, as just pulling waits in the grand finals, we go to. 
Well, Zebra can store, can store uh, coins still on mirror, or we watch uh, Tenny verse and Fiddy track. We'll watch the Tenny one, just so it's not a mirror. Coins still on mirrors are not the most exciting to watch. So we should toggle off my accident game one. Oh no, man. It happens. It's okay, man. Thanks for joining my tournament. Man. I assume you're going to join Qantas tournament next. I wish you good luck in that, my friend. Alright. Okay, now I gotta like hide the room code. Join the... Alright. Now, um, the top... This is top 8, I believe. Let me just show the room. Thanks for hosting. No problem, Sully, man. I'm glad you... I hope you had fun. Glad, thanks again for joining. And I wish you luck in any uh, tournaments you join, man. I really do. Okay. Now, this is uh, quarterfinal, so we are back in the top A. That's no problem, uh, Jinz uh, Jinzo. I'm glad you guys are enjoying yourself. But yes, this is back in the top eight. Doing versus um, Sama Era. And we don't take those. <laughs> we do not take those. And neither did Konami. So yeah, we continue. We got Sam on TG for no just joking. Sorry, it's not TG. <laughs> it's um Earth Machine versus Tenny. What's and what the heck is going on? Konami? Is your microwave okay? Konami? Is the is the microwave is the microwave okay? Did Konami turn on the microwave? Did they forget to turn it off? All right, we move on. Uh, please no more microwave, Konami. Yeah. Okay, we're good. We're good. Okay, good. All right. Sam goes first, and he sets two, sets three, and that's... Oh, that's not good. <laughs> this is... Oh, that's really not good. You're gonna have to hope that back row is really, really strong. Because there's one thing Tenny does good is playing through back row. So, I mean, as long as it's not a warrant point, you don't have circle, then they might be screwed. All right. We start off with the Shuda. And it is Book of Moon. That is one Tenny out of the way. But Dunn still has four more cards left in hand. He then continues with Shinena. In a special summon to the field, will Sam respond to this or will he let it go through? I just imagine he has three Book of Moons. <laughs> um, okay. He links summons. Okay. Goes in a monk in the tangy link one. And then, Dun Dun, what do you continue with? He continues with, or does Sam have a response towards the summon the monk? He's got the circle. Okay, that's really good. He can get the Pashuda in the grave and add a Tenny of his desire. Chaos Zone? What does Chaos Zone do? <laughs> and he adds the Shuna.
I don't think you run this. It just looks bad. <laughs> um, Chastodian was burnt pretty much scared to okay, even dealer. All right, he's got Vegeta banished, so he returns one more back though, and now he only has to worry about one more set. But Earthfish, I don't know if that last set's gonna be doing anything. Okay, Ooh, that's actually insane. And Circle was already used, so Dune ain't gonna be escaping even any tanny safe from this. Yikes. He lost a Shuna and he doesn't have any more? Oh, the IDP was brutal. He really, he. Damn, the fact that hit the Bushida could not hit the IDP is... I mean, it's possible it was never IDP in a way. Alright, does Sam have any more... any starters, or is he just forced to pass him more back row? IDP and Droplet are there, yeah. But Sam does not... still has no more plays! And here's the problem. Too much back, it doesn't matter if you have all this powerful back row. If you can't actually force, you can't push aggressively on your turn, it doesn't matter. IDP is my starter. <laughs> well, I, if he has another IDP, it's gonna be pretty strong here, but unfortunately, Doug can start with a circle, which is very good for him since that's a free search. And the question is though, what does Doom desire to add? He desires, desires to add another Shuna. It makes sense, his last one was banished. And... IDP's main combo. He decides to play around IDP by banishing the Shuna from hand. So if that is an IDP, he cannot use it. And then come forth the Shuna Summon from the hand in attack mode. He links it off because Savage Coliseum, I will get Jack Alice resist pressure. Alright. Come forth, Monk of the Tenny, summon Link 1. <laughs> uh, uh, if only Alien H Shark, only we could just play 30 AD IDP in our deck. We would be unstoppable. Actual tier 0 deck. Alright, goes into Shaman. As a Dara. I would love to play a deck of 30 IDP. I just win all my duels. I just love to go, okay, IDP set, IDP set, IDP set. I'd be unstoppable. <laughs> Okay, the last floodgate back row is MST, so it's not doing anything, and yeah, that's his game. IDP is not a floodgate. It's a very powerful back row, but it's not a floodgate. Alright, I believe that was game... One, so now we move on to game two. We're doing ahead by one game, but um, Sam did unfortunately break that game, so we'll see if that continues or not. <laughs> it's not like in general, villain. All right, Sam's going first. He did not brick this time. Yeah, IDP is arguably the strongest back row in Duel Links. You can easily make an argument for that. Maybe not the most versatile. You could potentially argue that Droplet has more applications, but it's definitely, it's, easy, it's at the very least in the top three, very easily. All right. Uh, I'm gonna Labyrinth, I don't know. You see some Labyrinth decks, um, main IDP, at least in Master Duel, I don't know what to see though. Alright. No Brickin' this time. 
that's pretty much the case, yeah, Jano Boom. Jano. Okay, you got River Stormer, River Stormer. Summoned and they like pinged. Not pinged that matter, okay. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I got Sam looking off for Goliath. Come forth, Goliath. 1000 beater. Best. Now creating a summon. Now creating his effect. Banish the Infinity Track. Add extension. And now he can bring out everyone's favorite Infinity Track, Mountain Smasher, later in the duel. But first, he must empty his extra deck to get Tunneler alive. I believe he does have Tunneler alive in the moment. Yep. Just needs to empty his grave. The Restorer's effect activates. Brings it back. And now, Extension will trigger. Now we got Mountain Smasher. Uh, Smash for some defense, use the effect to dump, and then Tunneler, I imagine. Let's use Tunneler now, okay. Tunneler's effect activates, he returns three Goliaths, grab, dozer, draws two, and let's see, what does he add? Get, he gets Heavy Forward, which he uses to search a Harvester, which is, I assume, follow for the next turn. Alright, he links some of the Mount Smasher off. He's like Goliath, but now he can use Mount Smasher's effect to bring him back. But this time it will be attached to Goliath, which means it does have destruction protection. And thanks to the extension, it also has target protection, which means it's essentially a Cocteus. It has both destruction and target protection. And let's see, Sam sets two. This is basically the old Infinity Track before you added stuff like the Citadel. And let's see what does Dune do to break this board. Does Sam have the IDP? He'll be pretty strong here, not gonna lie. And like before, Sam does have the board presence to push through on his turn. Good luck, Jay. I wish you the best, my friend. Exactly. It's always been best deck alongside Starry. Alright, he did special summon the Nahata. They gave pros for life indeed, my friend. Alright, Nahata summoned. And then... Going to Monk. And let's see, what next? Special summon the Ashuna. But unfortunately, response for doing the Book of Moon has been flipped. Does he have the circle or does he let this go through? <laughs> and now. He summons the Vishuda. He does let the Ashuna go through. Go through. Isn't it better to use the IDP? I mean, assuming he has IDP, I don't know if he has it or not.
do you deck help? We do have a ch we do have a, a channel to score for people who require help. Yes. At the moment, though, I am casting a terminus, so it's probably better for me to just focus on that. I do apologize about that. If you're curious, I will post the link to my Discord again. Okay. Circle was used, so now he has a Shuna in the grave, which he can use to bring forth Fadara if he wishes to. He already has the Dara in the hand, yeah. He can normal summon it to. I don't think he has normal summon it yet, yeah. He starts with Shuna. And. Adara comes on the field, and Baxia will force a response here. And let's see. He did have the IDP. He is using it here. So Nahata is now gone alongside the Mishuda. Now the question is, how does he out the Mount Smasher? Adara is used to bring back the Actually, he does have an out here, doesn't he? He can bring back the Shuda, banish from your hand to return the field spell, then he can use... Uh, but that doesn't give really the structure protection. Hmm. I'll just let him cook. I'm sure he's got something in planet. He's thinking, thinking what he wants to add. And we're adding the Nahata. Interesting, okay. Now what does Doom decide to do? He decides to special summon the Hara, okay. I don't want to coach, but he needs to be shooting now back to after, but I don't know if he can get there. Uh, he had went through a lot of resources. I mean, if he uses his shaman, he can't backseat anymore. He can go to Berserker. <laughs> I don't know if that's the play, though. Okay, he decided Berserker is the play. Okay, so basically, he's just hoping that he can survive another turn. He wants to gain 2,000 LP, go into the link... Th Wait, what? Is there something missing here? He has the link 1? Why did he... just to prevent the rank up? Okay, just so just to prevent the rank up, gotcha. And he's hoping that... the He's hoping the Berserker will kick, but he has the Book of Moon. Oh no. Yeah, Dune is definitely hoping Machito, but with the Book of Moon being used, uh, it's probably it's not looking good.
Also, like on sword form, side format, you can board OTK stoppers. Fair enough. Again, like I said before, I understand arguments against and core side, which is why I'm fine with both. Okay, our slicer is summoned. Uh, honestly, I think Dune just loses this. But he doesn't have access to the uh, extension anymore, so maybe there's hope? But he doesn't have loose, so... Yeah, the entire field is clear, so Dune just loses here, unfortunately. No blue, so he can't bring back the Link 1. Congrats to Sam though, he has won game 2, which means we now move on to game 3. Game 3 between Dun and Sam. Dune's turn, so he goes first. Can he set up a good board here? We'll find out. Dune is thinking. He's stonking, does he have it? He's got the Yabushuda. Circle is used, unfortunate. That means Duan did not have access to a Shuna in his hand, which means he has to get access through this way. Ashuna is special summoned. To go into Monk. At least he has Circle as follow up, which is good for Dune. Does Sam have a good hand too? Hopefully he didn't break this time. Alright, Ashuna Dodaro is special summon. Now Ashuna is summoned to go into another Ashuna, which means now he goes into Berserker. Now the question is, does Sam open another Book of Moon <laughs> for the Berserker? I feel like every time Dune has summoned Berserker, he just had the Book of Moon to say, Yep, I'm gonna Book of Moon that. <laughs> I guess we'll see. Berserker is summoned. Now does Dune have the normal summon to go to Link 3, or is he forced to pass on just this? Ooh, not the strongest. I guess it's just going to be doing hoping that Sam did not open the Book of Moon. He has the MST, which means he can force whatever that back row is. He was another circle, so just a bluff, really. Although, he might be useful if he could use it, but it was MST, so that's out of the way. Now, the question is, Sam, do you have the... My man, how do you keep open the Book of Moon? <laughs> I swear, this is like the third game you opened it. I mean, okay, to be fair, the second, it was, the game did go on for a while, and you did draw a bit, but like, I think it's just over. He has the Anchor Drill, which, he's searching the Anchor Drill, which does mean that, well, he already has the um, Harvester. I think this is just over. I think they're just going to get stacked here, unfortunately. Congrats on Sam on opening the Book of Moon. Man you can just choose. Man just knows what to open, I guess. Hot damn. All 
Alright, Harvester was summoned, but now it's about to be linked off. Come on off! Come on, Goliath! Those are a summon. And on comes fourth, I mean, River, Stormer. So just any Earth Machine as the so desire, which is probably going to be the Crab Crane. You must have been so confused, Aaron. All right. River Stormer is linked off for Goliath. Once again, we see Goliath come forth. No, they have plenty of outsourced boss monster. Just open IDP or Droplet. I know I really plays uh, Cosmo these days. It's just not a good deck. You see like one or two maybe, but it's not very popular. All right, comes for grab game, search the extension. Um, okay, extension is activated. We'll be you can rank up now. He goes into the rank nine. Dude, I know, right? This man has just been act built different. He just always had the Book of Moon. Does he have the Monster Reborn? Uh, unfortunately, he does, which does mean that Sam does win this. Sorry, dude. You tried my best, my friend. But Sam just knew how to open the Book of Moon in <laughs> this skill issue, indeed. <laughs> uh, any chance of a. Can you imagine if Dude had a had a blue in hand right there? That he just that just be like I win. <laughs> uh sadly no book of moon. No blue no blue I mean. Alright. You probably could have won game two, uh Uh, unfortunately for you doing, but fortunately for Sam, he does win and moves on to the top four. Well, you know what they say, if you don't open the out, then it's a skill issue. Draws two, fair enough. And just to add insult to the wound, he op also opens two back row just to guarantee that if you did survive, he could probably stop any future play of yours. Congrats to Sam, he moves forward to top four. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> Get ready, Anti-Christo, your next match is starting. Congrats to Dune for making it as far as you did, you did great. Yeah, it's just a regular Earth Machine. He's not playing any Earth. He's not playing any um, uh, Sigils or Machinas or whatever. At least I haven't seen any. Well, his name is actually spelled Christo, to be exact. Anti Christo. All right, so make sure you get ready and take Christo, your duel with um, Sam is about to start as soon as they uh, confirm the win. Oh, really? Okay, fair enough then. My bad. I don't speak Spanish, so I wouldn't know. My bad then. Uh, okay, uh, let's see. We'll just watch a replay while waiting for um, 
the next match to start. All right, Shadal versus Lubel. We can pretend this is the actual top four. We bet on the street replay. You want to bet on a replay? Gotcha, hands. Thank you. Again, I don't speak Spanish, so I wouldn't know this stuff. All right, link off for Artemis and. He wins with that? Really? Okay, he hard opened the Shizum, so he can use Construct to... Okay. Let's see the next match started yet. All right, the next match has in. Uh, we haven't talked yet. I have to wait till they post the room. All right, Sir Polly is used. Kind of funny, actually. Ain't no one street super on stream alien HR. Ain't no one doing that. You get the dragon, and that's all you get. Ooh, that gets destroyed, the monster, and nice, Neo's look with nothing. MST used on the back row, so no Shizong, does he get a top deck? No, he does not. Dragon is used, of course, the last back row is in fact the Purple Moon. But he has Shadow Fusion, very, very good. When the summoned doesn't feel that great, honestly. She's when D though is pretty nice. Get another monster on the field. And now just sit on Winda, I guess. Neos is summoned. Do they have the material for a new belt? Do you do not? Unless the last card is new belt. And it is indeed. Oh, they just Summon the Brave Neos, okay. Fair enough. Wind is activated, affects it so he gets back Chisholm. <clears throat> Squad Mine activates, destroys the Neos. Dragon activates, bounce back, and that's just game. <laughs> Okay, guys, now we move on to the grand final showcase. <laughs> Got my five gems. Woo! Okay, has the next top four started yet? Okay, yes, it has. We got the room. Let me enter in now. Top eight. Uh, let me see. The top eight was, in fact, we had um, S Force, Mayakashi. Uh, Mayakashi, there's two Mayakashis. We had, let's see, what was this match? Earth Machine. Two Constellars. Tenny and Earth Machine. And that's the top eight. 
Oh, and Taurus just said, tights it down. Thank you, Taurus. All right, now we just wait. Uh, the top eight will also be posted on our uh, Discord. The top four will be on BLM, but the top eight will be posted on uh, our Discord itself. If any of the top eight want to look at it or anything, or just anyone else. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Anti Christo is here to duel. Sam and they're both 0-0, zero, zero, so this will be game one. And this is top four. So let me uh, edit the uh this very quickly. Top four. After this is the grand finals, and then the tournament ends. Spec day, let's go. All right, Sam versus Anti Cristo. Game one, start. And let's see. We got Anti Cristo starting the duel off. He starts with. Well, you know what it is, it's everyone's favorite deck, Coin Stellars. Anti Christo, as you know, is a very skilled duelist. So because he has no skill issue, he has won the coin flip resulting in going first. Now unfortunately Sam has a skill issue and he went second. But can he win even with going second? We'll find out. Now first we start off with Sombrer, banish one Castellar, add the other, get the additional normal summon. Zupa Nacham, I have no idea how to pronounce that right. Will be summoned. He will add most likely the Katsius to search the Castellar spell and trap, which will most likely be the star chart. Sadly, Sam's misplay cannot be forgiven. I ah, made a misplay, unfortunate. But he went first, so he's probably still doing good. Is that the TG guy? Unfortunately, Jerfo, he is on Earth Machine. Actually, I think he's actually just Earth playing pure Infinity Track. Like, I'm, I haven't seen some seen some as single Machina, so I'm pretty sure he's just on pure Infinity Track. Yeah, trust he's gonna summon. TG War Warwolf anytime now. Just baited. Yeah, sorry, Jerfo. It's not TG. I'm sorry, man. I'm sure he's running a small TG engine. Trust, trust. Alright. Sam, can you break this board? <laughs> Holy! My man just went plus three. Man, this is toxic. Okay, Anchor Joe Summon, that's very good. He will not lose to a single bounce, but there does come the issue where he still has to play through two sets and potentially a hand trap. And, and of course the play he's, he's got the crack down. Yikes. And he did not have the harvester, so no going plus here, unfortunately. And does he just actually just bounce this and he wins? Oh no. If this is machine that you could play more, but if video track if their field is clear, they don't extend. He doesn't even have any more. Oh no. 
He's gonna have to bank. He's gonna have to hope the back row carries, but play is Ken force out one. The same looking good for Infinity Track. Alright, now all Ante Crystal has to do is simply, I mean, I was going Phoenix. He will go into Phoenix, he will force off the last back row. What is the last back row? It was a dead heavy four. No. Oh, this sucks. Yeah, not much sure if can do. I'm going to track. Sombra activates again. He can normal summon the Cadius. Activate Star Chart. And now he just going to M7, bounce the Treacher, and he wins. And on top of everything else. Let's get the draw. I mean, he doesn't even have to bounce it. Actually, he does actually. Actually, no, he doesn't. He doesn't, he doesn't have to bounce if he doesn't want to. He's got a game multiple ways here. He chooses to bounce the treasure back. And with two back row, three monsters, and unlikely he's running tight, Roy. This is game one in favor of anti Christo. Congrats. And now, we move on to our next game. Game one, one, two. Educator has one. Congrats, man. Now we move on to game two. Can Sam make a comeback, or is he doomed to lose the coin flip again? We'll find out. Now, I said Christo. A good player goes first the first time, but a great player goes first the second time. Are you a good player or are you a great player? He is a great player. Best player. Okay. Anti Cristo, knowing that as Constellar he must go first, has decided he will go first again. Congrats. Now, Sam, you have to. <laughs> I do not envy your position. Wait. Wait. And Anti Cristo, has he bricked? Thank you for the follow, villain Kasaba. Appreciate it, man. Thank you a lot. He bricked! He's got the normal summon, but that's it. He can't extend it to the. Oh no! Oh damn! This is this is Sam's chance to shine. Three back row is scary, but he doesn't have to worry about a bouncer at least, so it could be worse. Heavy four. Does he have the MSC to deny the search? He does indeed. Now, Sam, can you play past this, or were you hoping that would resolve? He has the Anchor Drill. Okay, that's very strong. But he has the Chalice. Ooh, no. But the Chalice does mean that the Anchor Drill stays on field. Do you have the Dozer? Can you extend past this? Or you simply... Okay, so using Fire Ball, Fire Reload, he returns to Crab. What do you got for me, Sam? Another problem too is that Anti Cristo does have one last back row. And it could be anything really. It could be a bluff, it could be... A I don't know if it could be a crackdown, who knows. Oh, he has the MSC, so he can force it out. We will find out what it is. It was a chalice. Okay, now the question is, Sam, can you keep playing? No, he cannot. But he has two back row, and Castello is only on one card, and he knows what it is. So, currently, I'm actually favoring Sam here, as long as those two back row is actually strong. Oh, 
Oh, he had the back row. Oh, no. And he only has 700 attacks, so he cannot get over the drill. Now, the question is, does San have an MST to force off that back row? Will he talk to something good? We'll find out. Not gonna lie, I think Sam might have a chance here. Did he talk something good or did he talk to the brick? Is that like Kuso's back row good or is it bluff? Oh, and really draws probably the best possible top deck. Hot damn. Ante Crystal's gonna have to hope that back row of his is gonna carry hard because he's gonna need it. That was an insane rip. Alright. He will link off first, fair enough. Goes into Goliath. And then proceeds to sack it off for Dozer. Dozer's effect activates special summoning any of you attack from the deck of this desire. So probably Tunnel Alert. Or maybe you want to say she wants to go grab to get the uh, target protection. That's another possibility. Oh, but it's the gates effect, never mind. It has to be Tunnelor, my bad. Okay, so Tunnelor is the only cho only good choice here. Tunnelor is summoned. And now he can decide to either link it off or go into River Storm. Makes sense. River Storm is summoned, and now he can search any other machine he wants, assuming that uh, Crystal does have the crackdown, so he can stop this. Does Matt and Sam have the backward removal, or is he forced to simply go to battle phase and at least take out the one he's seller? Uh, let's check out what he has in the graveyard as well. Nothing to form it. He's got the Harvester, he's got the Goliath, but it doesn't really do anything here. He indeed just got into his battle phase. He takes out the Pollux. Now, the crap, now this monster at least won't be doing anything, but Christo does have two back row. Sorry, who's. Sorry, and Crystal does have a top deck and I know back row, so. Oh, Cadius is not a good top deck. He can search the star chart to thin out his deck, but. Oh no, it has to be special summon, huh? No, your main phase, no, it has to be. It's not on normal summon. Okay, so that means IDP. Does he have a um, spellcaster? He does indeed rough. He loses the Cadius and the Russell Hug. No place for you, my friend. And now because the monster was cracked down, he cannot attack, so he's forced to pass his turn. And Sam, do you get another insane top deck like last turn, or are you forced to just pass? It's, it was the heavy forward, he was just setting it okay. I mean, at that point, I'm pretty sure just Sam just wins. Yep. Anthony Crystal Priest's scoop, and Sam wins game number two. And now we move on to game number three. Now, the question is. Are you the best player for anti crystal And will you go first three times in a row? Man, it's just built different. Goes third, first, third time in a row. But he did break game two. So will he break for game three? Or will he have a good hand this time? 
He reveals... Oh, that's just full combo. He will use Razzlehog's effect to go into Sombre. And I mean... Now Sam has to deal with full combo Constellar with any back row they may or may not have, like the Sinner is Constellars, and they're probably going to at least have one, most likely two. There's their follow-up, they have the Contestius already, and now they, can special, now they can search the star chart. And go, you know what, I decided I want to draw one more card. And they will do so by going using two of their Constellars to go into Pelagis. Come for Frank by Pelagis. He gets to draw a card, very, very nice. He has decided to return to Star Chart. He will no longer clog his back row. And then. He will set one, two, hello Shark Blood. I hope your day's been good, friend. Thank you for coming by. I'm very good. Just casting a tournament at the moment. Set three back row and has one Pleiades. It's possible one of these are a bluff, as is the unknown star chart, but even then, that's still two potential disruption. I do not like Sam's chances here, but maybe he could do something. Maybe he's got a chance. You never know. We got a Typhoon. That's not a bad start. He can force. He can move one back row. And what did he remove? Draw play. Okay, that's a pretty good hit. That's a pretty good hit. Now, please show two more MSTs and a Book of Moon. Okay, Book of Moon, that's good. He's got Sans Classic, he's got the Book of Moon. Now, Palladius is no longer an issue, but he still has to worry about two back row. He has Harvester, which is good, but uh, with two back row, okay, Chalice is not game yet. If he has a Dozer, he can still keep playing. It's possible the last back row here is the star chart, which means it would be a bluff. There's no guarantee on that, but there's the possibility. He has the dozer! Okay, Ante Cristo has definitely been a little hasty there. It would be better to wait for the dozer so he can negate the special from deck. But if he has the chalice here, then it doesn't matter. Do you have the Chalice? Can you stop this from happening? If you have the Chalice, you most likely win the duel. He does not. Okay. Somber, in fact... Oh, I'm just reading the card, which is... He does hit a duel 5. Oh, thank you for the follow. He's a Reaper. He's a lot. Thank you, friend. Summons River Stormer. Does he have the play to stop this? He has the Book of Moon. It didn't matter. Does he have, wait, 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 if he has one more level five, one more level five, he can actually keep going. Do you have the level five, bro? Do you have the level five? If you have the level five, you can actually keep playing because you have Trencher equipped here. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much for the follow Reaper. I very much appreciate it. Do you have the follow do you have the follow-up? One more infinity track would mean so much here. But this delay this pause makes me think he does not have it. That or he's thinking what's the best play. Is he thinking he still has a chance, or does he think if he has the extender, it's not gonna matter? Because it is for me considered that Ante Cristo, even though he had all that disruption does in fact still have the follow-up. 
So even if Sam clears the board here, if he doesn't OTK, oh, it's just over. Unfortunate, but very good job, Ante Cristo. You have won the game against Sam. Apologies, Sam. You put up a good fight. You got all the way to top four. You passed, my friend. You did great. Good job to both duelists. It's just very difficult because Coincellers is just very strong when they go first, after all. That was um, a Droplet, a Chalice, and a Book of Moon. And the Pallades bounce. That's just. That's rough. That's really it. That's a lot to ask to push through. Alright, I suppose Antichristo will now proceed to BM. Or he's concerned that Sam has the Kyroid, which I suppose is not impossible. So I better say than sorry, so fair enough. He summons the Rastio Legler. Sorry, the Vassal Hog. And proceeds to XYZ into Omega. And this time Omega will protect both. All these consolers from any potential spell and trap, but he is not done yet. He will now special some Nicadius. And just have this full field of four monsters to play around Kyroi, I suppose. And now, oh, he's just going for another M7, okay. And now he will use M Omega's effect to detach to have room for M for then M7 to take it from grave to hand. And there's his follow-up, and he still has one unknown back row and the bounce. And now he goes for game. Wow, okay. Alright, it's over. Good job to both duelists. And now we proceed to the grand finals. The finals being Antichristo versus Displeon. All right. I mean, now we just have to wait till their match starts. I believe the split was on Mayakashi, so it's gonna be Coin Slayer versus Mayakashi. But until they're um, ready to get ready though, Anti-Cristo and Spleon, but until they get ready, we will watch the replay until they are both ready. Okay. Shadal vs. Invoked? <laughs> okay. Uh, so I might as well just say now, Grand Finals. Uh, Grand Finals between Displeon and Antichristo. Well, as soon as it starts. Until then, we'll just watch the replay. Or point on the evoke. Thank you, use. Wait, thank you. Luna Light. What the heck is going on here? The Light Black Sheep is discarded to add Polly, and we can't still use this, so we have to use something else. Okay, gosh, that's Shadal for Winda. Squamod is also used, so he gets to add a Shadal monster, and gets to. Send, I believe? Yes, yeah, send. But he had the IDP, funny. When he is sugar, gets to. Ah, oh, damn, get the hole out. CC the Shizum, that's really good. War point yet again.
DD draw, Parma cut, Hedgehog will be used for Wendy. Should all mirror actually, huh? <laughs> you don't see that often. Alright, has the final star yet? Anti Crystal and Split on, make sure to get ready. The Grand Finals is about to begin. Oh, there you go. And the match. Alright, go. And we just have to wait for. Oh, there it is. Now. Who do you think is going to go first, the Mayakashi player or the Coin Stella player? We will find out. Oh, jeez, I forgot to. Ah! No, 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 no one saw that. No one saw that. No one saw that. No one saw that. No one. No one saw that, okay? Just pretend you never saw that, guys. All right, zero zero versus display and anti Cristo, and game one start. I think this is the first time I actually ever seen Duke in the Grand Finals when I think about it. I mean, granted, it's with the Makashi still. It's not like there's any unique skill zone. But it's still very cool. Alright. Mayakashi versus Castellar. And, oh! Display managed to make to go first. Very important. Now we see the Mayakashi combo. He's doing the... Oh, he's doing the full combo. It, it makes sense, but... Ooh. Alright. Summons the Chushi Gumo. <laughs> he summons the Daki again. To go into the Tengu Synchro. Summons the Daki again. Now he goes into the Fox, Yoko of the Grace of Markashi. Summons Daki again. Goes into the level 11, the, I can't remember his name. Gashka Dokoro, the skeleton of Markashi, gotcha. Summons the Daki again for the uh, sixth time or something. Link 2, Yuki Ono, the Ice Markashi. Goes in the Daki again. Summons the Link 3. Summons the Daki again, and now you know what this means. We go to the Link 2, then Link 3, and we good to go. But the question is, does he have back row? He's got three unknowns in hand, so probably does. Has to be pretty unlucky not to have any. Alright, that's two of the three Link 3's in the grave, and now ends up the Link 2, and summon the Daki again. Praise be Daki, great card. <laughs> Just keep summon over. Oh, no back row! Oh, that's unfortunate. As a good news for Ate Crystal, though, he might be able to win this. Assuming he can play through one back row. One disruption, I mean. Okay, he's got the Poleaxe. That's actually pretty good. Get an additional normal summon, assuming he has an American Stellar. Now, does he have the Searcher? He's got the Searcher, which is very good. Special summons the Cadius. And now...
He will exercise the multiple ladies, I assume. This guy's special first. Oh, hey Serena. Oh, Rose, fine, it's no problem. Welcome to the chat. We got Coin Stellars versus Makashi in the Grand Final, Serena. Hope you enjoy. Makashi went first, so they do get to play the game. <laughs> Alright, Star Shark has been used. So now, any XYZ summoned, they will get a draw out of it. Come forth, Constellar Ladies. Now they will get a draw, and if anything happens to threaten the Ladies, they will be able to chain activation and get rid of the Link. Synchro or Link, whatever they desire to. I mean, that said, the um, the pop is not targeted, so they can change targets if they wish. Alright. The end on one back row. It's definitely better to wait to the valve. It's definitely no harm to wait to the valve phase, not gonna lie. Okay. One back row only, really? Okay. Crystal did not open super strong in terms of destruction either, it seems. But to be fair, he might have back row, so I wouldn't come out just yet. Yeah, I might have hand traps, I mean. Alright. Let's see. Now. Anti Cristo verse. What does he decide to do? If he destroys the link, the Synchro 11 will trigger, and his effect will activate, which will make it immune to car effects for the tur that turn. But if he uses the bounce now, that just helps Disbelion, on. not gonna lie. It is also a water type, so he does not have to worry about Kavius' secret effect, which is good for him. Alright. We got the link three banish itself to special summon and Makashi Synchro. Yoko's effect effect triggers. Oh, they have the chalice, however. And they summon defense, really. Interesting. Okay, so because it was negated, he is now free to use the effect of a worry. He bounces the Yoko, but if he destroys the Sling, the a level 11 will still trigger, which will give him a free body on field. But he's going to have to deal with it like one way or the other. So with this play, it's him going, yeah, I'm fine with it coming, fair enough. So, the Gashar Dew comes out, 3300 attack, and then two card effects return. Not that that really matters in the situation. And now comes the passive return, and it's back to Displeon, who still has four cards in hand and the big bang field. So, I think he's chilling still, I'm not gonna lie. All right. Quickly triggers the glaze effect now. However, that does mean that just playing doesn't have to worry about it anymore. Whoever still has to worry about the back row and the potential hand trap. He will force out the back row right now. 
This is not targeted, so if he uses it here... Oh, it's crack. It is cracked down. And he will destroy the crackdown, which means he does get back it. And then he will hodge in. And he will link it off for the Yoko. Oh, damn. He just made Yoko directly. He, have, he hasn't even used the skill yet, funny enough. And because the Yoko was actually seeing, he's now going to go Gasha again, which has 3300 attack. The Daki will be summoned again. Does he have any back row this time, or no? He will go into the link three again. This is his last link three. After this is used up, he will no longer be able to use it again. Did display and open any back row, or he did indeed this time. That's good for him. Not so fortunate for Ante Crystal, however. He will crash, triggering the gas total effect. He will bring it back. He can trigger his effect, not that it matters here. He will destroy the. Okay, fair enough. However, that does come with the potential. We'll see if that matters or not because he can rank up the. Oh, what's the back row? Uh, it was the Mayhem, which unfortunately, because it was Pop, will not matter in this situation. However, he does have the Link 3 engraved, which means he does have a non targeting Pop here, which is very good. Oh, I'm not going to have this. I'm, after the stream is over, I'm just taking a break, Serena. <laughs> Hello, Joey Munch. Alright, he triggers a Link 3 here. Pop, and now at this point, because if he doesn't have a reborn, I think Chris will be forced to just pass on some back row and call it there. I mean, he can pop the he can get rid of the Doki, though. We're going to coach you to Night Rush. Please, no, guys. I would be happy to rush, but after the stream is over, I'm ready to just eat, you know? <laughs> I'll just be ready to eat, guys, that's all. Uh, let's see, go enter battle phase. He will get rid of the Daki, eat fuel up for the run. I mean, I would have to, yeah. I'm assuming he's getting rid of the Daki, maybe not. Maybe he thinks it's okay to keep it on the field. No, he will indeed destroy it and turn, but at this point, this plane does have, in fact, two monsters that are both able to destroy the M7, and he only has one back row. But at the same time, this plane is actually out of the Link 3s. Man has burned through it all. So at this point, he's just going to have to hope that Ante Crystal is not going to go crack down. And, uh, well, uh, this is awkward. Wait, no, 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 this is four. No, 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 Ante Crystal, you screwed up. Okay, does that have race seven? Yeah, he's just going to blow up, go into the Tengu, destroy the... That, that was, that was, um, yeah, I don't know about that one. Yeah, I really did, but it didn't matter because it was cracked down. He could crash into. Ooh, yep. That crackdown did not save him. He needed to let the attack go through and then crack down. 
Crackdown at the start was in this play. All right, however, thanks to that misplay, Discipline has won game one, so now we move on to game two. All right, but the question is, who is more skillful? Who goes first? This matters. I'll take the follow, Toto944. I hope I didn't butcher that name, but thank you again for the follow. I appreciate them a lot. Hello, hello. And now we got Discipline versus Anti Cristo. And this boy has proven to be the better duelist by going first yet again. And he's got. Damn, he's got the full field. Full combo for sure. Now, the question is, however, does he have back row? That's gonna matter. Thank you for the follow, Cyclo Mellow93. Again, apologies for your name. I appreciate the support. Thank you very much. And now, Yukiono, the Ice Maikashi. He will do the line, okay. And now, well, we know what's going to happen here. He's going to go level 5. And then he's going to go level 7. And then, level 9, a level 11, and yep, it just keeps going. This one, this one little card will just keep summoning itself. Alright, come on, Yoko, the Graceful Mayakashi. Then come back, Daki, the Graceful Mayakashi. Then comes out Gashka Dokoro, the level 11 that will be immune to card effects and effect with trigger, but here it doesn't matter, it's just fuel. Goes into the Link 3. Actually, will he keep it on field? This is the rebody. body. Maybe. Maybe that's going to like cost him field. Fair enough, but true. Alright, he's got Yukiono, Yukiyono Manakashi. Brings back to Daki. He will now link three. Brings back Daki. I'm sure you've seen this before. <laughs> and then he will link it off to go into the link two for the final time for this turn, and that's it. Then we go Daki again for a free body off. He'll no reason not to. And then will he set a card or will that be it for him? Does he have a back row? Spawn, do you have a back row? He has the back row. Okay, this is looking very good for Makashi, but Anti Crystal has shown he does run MST, so I will not count on yet. And he might be able to play through the back. He might be able to play through the Monster Pop as well. No MST. He might have Chalice, however. Okay, this will force the activation of the Yoko. Now the question is, does Crystal have either a Chalice or does he have... He does not. Okay, he has nothing. Damn. Okay, does Crystal have a Monster Reborn? No, but he does have Cadius, which does let him continue. And with Cadius' effect, he can search, assuming he this point doesn't have anything to worry about. Oh, he, he hard opened each star chart, unfortunate. He will still get a draw, but it doesn't really balance itself out because of the fact he hard opened it. He's just gonna get balanced out. He's not gonna get that plus. That's really unfortunate. All right. Mm -hmm. 
He will be a lot of XYZ, which means most likely that this one does not have a way to stop it. He will go with the ladies, and thanks to Star Chart, he will draw a card. We now have access to a back row and a bounce. Two back row. Okay, this is not looking too bad for uh, Christo. However, he does have... Okay, Yoko will be summoned here. Discord. Oh. If for anyone curious, Starry Cat invite. Here's my Discord. Enjoy. You're welcome. And just like that, it's over. <laughs> and just could not deal with the Mikashi. Mikashi actually won the whole thing. Nice. Congrats to this vlog for winning the whole thing. Yeah, it's 2-0. Congrats on split holding with the whole thing. I think you're still congrats on making it as far as you did. You both put up a good fight. Congrats to both. Or scoop. Uh well we show the replay. Show me your spicy deck grind replay. We'll we'll watch the replay. We'll see what's happening. I don't have a spicy deck, Serena. Here, let's watch the replay quickly, see what happened. Yeah. We'll fast forward because Makashi's turn actually just didn't rely. <laughs> Summons the Yasha, as you notice, goes into the line. Okay, Prince will summon, level 11, link 3, back to link 2, then back to the link 3, then back to the link 2, and then we summon the Daki again, end of the set, all access summon, they try to go for Sombear, he gets popped, they did have the Cadius. The special summon, but unfortunately, they hard to open the star charge, so we couldn't get a free draw out of it. You get the one draw though, and then you're not too late, don't worry, Sans. I mean, he just ended actually, sadly. He attacked, and why did he attack? I can only assume that Christo thought he was a dark monster. Because it is, but it has the target protection. It had, oh no, he misplayed. Sorry, gameplay. Ah, uh, nah, sadly, I'm just casting a turn of the day. It was negated by Droplet. Oh, right, right, right. My bad. It was Droplet, gotcha. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Sorry, I was kind of distracted for a second there. Apologies. You guys just won for winning? You, you put up a... Actually, you were very patient with that droplet. I'm surprised you, you were very patient with that droplet. You did very good. All right, congrats to your opponent as well, Anti Cristo. Congrats to both. I think that's everything. So... Congrats to both duelists. I should be paying more attention, I'm sorry. <laughs> it was a long tournament, I do apologize. Um, anyway. We will be calling it there. Thank you everyone for coming by for the stream. It means a lot. I appreciate it. The top eight will be on uh, on our server and the top four will be on DLM. And yeah, I'll just be rating. I'll rate someone else now. I'll just probably rate Quantum since this tournament should be starting now. But yeah, thank you guys. I hope you had a fun time. Yeah, it, it's it's cool. It's cool, Serena. 
thank you come by thank you hans thank you split splin thank you sand everyone else thank you as well i appreciate it a lot thank you all the follows i i really it's really awesome thanks guys but i, I think i am really deep not gonna lie <laughs> okay anyway i'll see and yeah just before, before i leave the announcement for the next tournament will be on sunday like always and yeah, I hope you guys have a good rest of the day um, and hope you enjoyed Quantum's Tournament next. And yeah, see ya.